Kamala. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Hope you're having a nice night. Thank you for coming by. Happy Saturday. Once again, we got a banger for you. Chat today, we're gonna laze around the mansion and fuck it in. I don't know, we're gonna fuck around and do whatever that we have. Honestly, I don't really have much. Uh, like, I couldn't find anyone to bring on today. So, all I really have is like some video games and like some leftover potatoes from last night. I didn't cook them or anything, uh, but you're welcome to eat them if you want. They're raw. Um, we might have some leftover like like caribou jerky uh from that le one time that haruka had a family meeting at my house don't ask where the jerky came from we're not going to talk about it just know that haruka will not talk to me like she has not spoken a word to me for the last two weeks but the point is it's fine it's not a big deal all right so grab your snacks come on in and let's party we're gonna head over to the mansion and as always disclaimer today is one of those streams where i might not uh see some of your you know your notifications subs donos bits all that other good stuff but i appreciate it nonetheless so thank you very much come on in let's go this way this way follow me oh wait uh also don't be shy feel free to say hi you, you, you it just it just it just type the highs and then we can get in go ahead it's like tradition i'm not allowed to start the stream until you guys say hi are we good is everyone saying hi can i i okay i, I think we're good all right this way there we go now we get to enjoy a lovely stream to ourselves. We're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be great. You know, I know we didn't have anyone Hello? to bring. Hello? Hello? Hold on, um, chat. I have the, someone at the door. What's up? The, I'm here for the showing. The showing of what? The, 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 the listing? The listing? Yeah. How'd you find out about my list? No, I, I, put in and i was looking to put make an offer on a new abandoned lair offer. and uh we were supposed to have a showing at 5 p.m est you know i'm i'm kind of annoyed that this is like pretty late like i'm ready to buy this place now like from the outside it looks great it looks sufficiently abandoned well, thank you thank um, you i did my job on it you know i made yeah. it look nice yeah, I'm, I'm even willing to offer like plus 20% for the asking price because honestly, that's pretty low uh, for for the location and everything. So yeah, wait, wait, um, wait. when can I move in? What's the asking price? What was put on? 10K? 10K? I don't know. I feel like this is a lot worth it. This is way more than 10K. Yeah, that's why I said I'm adding 20%. Look at the boulder behind me. Uh, yeah, that's going to take a that's removal a company to come in and professionally remove that. Nobody's removing but that. Yeah, that's like yeah. the prettiest um, piece here. Okay, but I'm, I'm willing. Okay, tell you what, I'll up, I'll up it to 50%. So I'll give you 15K. I have it ready right now. Um, So can I move in start to today for the move in? Or? Wait, no, this isn't for sale. I live here. I'm not selling my house. It is. Did not say that there was a tenant on the listing. Hold on, did it say haunted? Yes. That fucking, that damn government. I swear to God, I've been telling them that I have human rights. This is not okay. You can't sell the house that I'm living in just because I'm a doll. I have rights. I own this place. My name is on the fucking lease. It, it says it's abandoned it's not it and condemned which is like perfect for me the whole like villainous thing you know i, I mean I, uh, I got the so... vibes when you walked in but this is yeah thank you listen the point is that i live here okay I, te yes i am not technically a human so in the eyes what of the kind u.s of real government estate agent are you though if you live here and you're showing no, me the no, place there is no real estate agent i am not the realist i am living in the real estate I am not the agent. I would never put this up for 10K. Maybe like 50K. Do you have 50K? Like in cash? It, Preferably it, unmarked I, bills. I can get it. Hang on. Chat, we might be moving. Pack your bags, pack your cage. Pack your cage. 
Just a second. 50K is a lot, a... Chad. Why are you running? Come back here. Where are you going? Okay. All right. What? Hmm? I, I have the bills. Uh, you might need to launder these. Hey, you know what? I didn't see anything, so I'll accept it. I'll take what I can get. But okay. you know what? If I don't mind, you know, if you don't mind. All right, since, 50K. Since, okay, well, well, cool. Well, well, so well, thank you, Aldo. Since I'll, getting money is easy for you, you don't mind if I try to upsell you. I mean, there's there's more to the mansion. You've already upselled me oh, more than double the even price. Even better. I will take I... the boulder with me since you don't like it. Oh. That's a very precious I boulder. Mean... You know, the pioneers used to ride those for miles. You know, fair, fair. I do know my boulder history. They're pretty good. Okay, you know what? That, you know what? that sounds fair enough to me. Okay, sure. Let me. Uh, Another I can, 30K, I can... I'll sell you the cage behind me. Oh, okay. All right. I'll be right back. Hang on. Hey! Big money moves! Chat, why are you screaming? Why are you getting angry? Wow, what's the big deal? Chat, 30K is way more than I bought that cage for. That, that was like a $12 cage off Amazon. I don't know why you're getting so angry. 30K! Okay, okay. I'm back. What's I'm up? back. I'm back. I got I got it. Ooh, uh, I, I think you got a little something in your eye. What? Uh, the bathroom's to the, a, a, a little left, left eye, left eye. Maybe oh, my uh, right, technically, you're, you're right. Okay. Uh, Where's the bathroom? Normal? Uh, t go, go upstairs and to the left. Okay, up, upstairs and to the left. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here, just, okay. here, just it pass me, pass me. That okay, way, that okay, way, okay. that way. Okay, okay, hang on a sec. Oh, gosh, this is a okay. little, little bit difficult there. Chad, did you fucking see your eyeball? Did you guys see that? I'm starting to have second thoughts about selling. I don't know. Please. I don't really, listen, I have a thing against people with heterochromia, okay? Hey! You have what? You're back to normal! Thank oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, back to normal. Uh, yeah, oh, no, hang, that was hang close. On, let, me, let me just clean this up a bit. There we go. I almost closed the deal. You know, actually, wait, hold on. Is that is that hetero, uh, heterochromia thing? Does that happen all the time, or is that just occasionally? No, no, no. That's 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 very, very, very occasional. Oh. Listen, I have beef with a lot of heterochromia people. No, I just, it's you know, it's, it's a very it's, strict. No, 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 no. I'm getting treatment. House. I'm getting treatment. I'm getting treatment for it. It's okay, it's okay. not something that happens. Like sometimes you get a flare up every now and yeah, again. Yeah, you know, when the yeah. heart rate is a bit too high. You know how it is. Uh -huh. yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't have a heart. Speaking of which, explain the that upselling. Thing? Not gonna lie. You see that little yeah, thing yeah. in the cage? Yeah, Extra that thing in the cage. Extra sixty k, all yours. Cage and creature, 60K. Okay, I'll give you 30. 30? Yeah. Uh, 35. Okay, done. Glad to be making off with the money. Wait, why is, hold on a minute. Hmm? I don't think this is legal tender. Is this fucking Canadian? USD! Why is all of this in Canadian? We're in Canada. I can't use this. You know what? This, yeah, we are off. in Canada. I've had a suspicious feeling about you from since the beginning. Call it off. I'm not selling anything. What call the? It off. Call it off. I traveled all the way here to Lower Canada. Uh uh. This is to, not Lower Canada. This is in the fucking border. Technically, border? this both sides of this is America and Canada. If I'm being real with you. Well, it's no, it's it's all Canada. It's no man's land. I love snowmen. That's not what I said. Okay. The point is, I'm calling it off. <laughs> Listen, Danny you, uh, you did come here for a long time. I assume that you walked uh, from that fake government listing that needs to be put down because I have rights. But I can't do anything about it. Here, you know what? I Instead, didn't walk. I used I used shadow magic. What are you, some kind of fucking intelligence user? Ugh. Intelligence user, advanced. What's your excuse stats? you? Ugh. I, pretty good, I would say. I can solo raids. Hey, do you have any points in dexterity? Or yeah. Oh, tons, motivity? tons. So many points. Yeah, yeah. Tons in in, in uh, motivity and dexterity and some advance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, you don't need to. Yeah. You, you get, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go get some tea for us. You yeah. don't need to. You don't need to come that close. <clears throat> oh, okay, okay, all right. Well, huh, the new digs. Kind all of, right, all right. Kind of noisy over there. Yeah, I got some yeah. snacks. We're all good. Oh, well, good welcome snacks. On in. You know, I, I, oh, I was in the middle of doing. Oh, do we have a snack box? Do you we, have a snack box? I do. I have plenty. Well, I was in the <gasps> middle of doing a stream. If you would like to join me. We were just kind of, uh, I, I didn't have any plans for today, but now that you're here, we might as well hang out. Uh, oh, okay, you know, that's fair. I don't tend to, to mingle with the common populace, so I suppose this might be an entertaining uh, change and of pace. cut the RP! Welcome to the stream, everyone! <laughs> we're having Girl DM on again for like the fourth time. <laughs> I didn't know how to it's cut the RP, again. it kept going on. <laughs> I, I didn't you didn't tell me the RP was going to end you were just like we need to do well, an intro no, bit no. and I was I like okay every start always has an improv bit but normally it ends at some point oh I was waiting for either one of us to break with laughter or to like break character but it never did happen no we're, we're just too good you can tell some of us play D&D &D. just a little bit a tiny well, welcome bit come on in girl we haven't I haven't had you on in like a year the last yeah, time you were on it's been for, a hot the, minute. for the stream was like I am back on your like first 3D mm -hmm. model. Mm -hmm. Not even, but I did not moderate. Third one I did moderate. Uh, I was did. moderating you your stream. You babysat my yes, chat once. We had a yes. VTuber takeover and you babysat chat and you just listened to music the entire time. What? No, I'm a mod in your chat. That too. You also moderated. I was modding your lies of P. That too. Well, I, I mean, on the screen, <laughs> not in chat. Uh, well, Oh, okay. There's a difference in her, right? That's crazy. I can't believe I have to pay Girl DM now because she's my mod. I can't believe she's getting a living wage. Can you believe that Joel did not invite me to the mod dinner? That's crazy. <laughs> I just happened to forget, okay? You know, I got a I lot of I did shoot mods. a person too, yeah. Yeah, I did you a good did job. You did also try to shoot a person. Mm-hmm. I didn't try. I did. I timed him out for 300 seconds. You, uh, you did shoot somebody. They are dead. The corpse is still rotting on the floor. Nobody has taken the time to get rid of it. Well, that's just how you make sure the flavor has a deeper profile. Are you, you know? eating the dead bodies? No, you are. I'm vegetarian. If I put, if I put ketchup on it, you'll be fine. I have a hard feeling. No, first <laughs> off, I don't like ketchup. Second off, if I don't like no. steak, I'm not going to like a dead human being. <laughs> I don't know. I've heard like human beings are more like pork not as common to, yeah it's not beef so much uh, pork's like okay yeah there it you go See, you're fine. Cut. yeah yeah but humans are also grosser true i was watching five minute crafts earlier today and boy oh boy what <laughs> <laughs> did you get to the five minute crafts where they were using uh what the fuck were they they're using tampons as like bandages yeah, yeah, it freaked out some people in my chat. And I, I had cannot. to have like a, a chat about how tampons are clean until I, they are used. No, it's the it's idea literally... itself that is disgusting. Not the fact. I don't care if it's clean or not. Joel, do you have you ever used toilet paper to wipe something up? Because you use toilet paper for dirtier stuff. I thought than... you were gonna ask if I used a tampon before, and I was gonna lose <laughs> my mind. Why, yes, girl DM, I know how a tampon is used. I have that knowledge, surely. <laughs> yeah, if you're in the military and somebody has a severe puncture wound, you can put that inside of the hole to put pressure and also absorb blood. Yeah, it's like the it's like a back to shot from Star Wars. You just shove it in there and yeah. then everything's yeah. good. Yeah. Right, ladies and everyone else that uses them. I'm so glad that I'm so knowledgeable. I feel like You're the so more knowledgeable, I Joel. watch five minutes crafts, like I, my brain, it's it's enhancing everything, and I feel the wisdom coming on with the age that I have. Yeah, anytime my chat feels like they're getting a little too dumb, then I put five minute crafts on. Mm -hmm. We have to always like wipe up the floor with like gray matter, though. It's kind of weird. Oh, I don't think it's connected. It's okay. I mean, sometimes a lobotomy is needed, but the gray matter does get everywhere. It's a little gross. Did you know that the ice pick lobotomy can be done in less than 10 minutes? Are you saying you've speed ran a lobotomy before? No, I was reading it. I was <laughs> reading up on it yesterday. <laughs> I All actually right, was Jack, on stream. On stream, I was reading lobotomies. up. <laughs> All right, quick. 
Everybody I'm come forward. It's time. Three, it's time two, for your lobotomies. Let's one. go. That's what the hand is for. Quick, get in the chair. One, done. <laughs> Next, one, done. Next, one. And you have to like push them off into the ground because they can't yep. move themselves anymore. <laughs> yep, that's just how it works. You My know? favorite part of that, uh, the AGDQ, uh, you know, like all of the streams is when they live stream the lobotomy runs and like mm -hmm. everyone in the audience is just losing their minds. I mean, the people in there getting the yeah, lobotomies yeah, yeah. are also losing yes. their minds, but it's so <laughs> fun. The audience is so like quiet during the, the, the like the lobotomy run. I, I don't know why uh, they, they might've gotten the free lobotomies as practice, but still it's like dope. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Their videos, Their videos? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's not on the right part of YouTube. I actually, I, I've seen video. Dude, it's fucked up. I've seen videos of people that like are survivors of the last lobotomies that were take like ever medically taken place a long time ago, which by the way, it's not medical at all. There's no fucking signs behind it. Uh, and it's Hang fucking, it's insane. I don't know if you've seen those do videos. Do people still do lobotomies? No, 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 Let's no. see. No, it is not a, it, it is like illegal. Man, they've been replaced, largely been replaced by medications. There was a, so the last lobotomies I think were 1980 because they had cameras. So no, there it are, says they're still legal. They're still legal. They're just rarely used. Well, yeah, because why the fuck would, nobody would ever take a lobotomy. Well, it says that they use it for uh, rare circumstances for severe treatments that don't us uh, severe I you, those circumstances people... that don't respond to other treatments, and these surgeries are considered the last resort. That is, yeah, it's literally they have yeah. nothing else to go by besides. So, anyways, I've seen a video of this woman who was lobotomized at like I think a very young age, and the video was mm -hmm. taken. I don't know either w w when was video fully made it was a black and white video but it wasn't super grainy um but she's just she's like she's a grown woman she's just kind of standing there and she's not able to wasn't respond to anything JFK's sister was it yeah because she got lobotomized because she was too uppity for a woman Jesus Christ she would like go drive cars really fast and talk to men oh my god why the, how the fix fuck that. did anyone think that was okay <laughs> don't get me started yeah. on, on women's rights i'm gonna lose my mind yeah, we're gonna lose people. our mind yeah she would show her I'm ankles not... yep <laughs> anyways yeah that really requires a lobotomy let me take out half of your brain yeah too besides... masculine lately <laughs> <laughs> besides that mrs lincoln how was the play <laughs> oh yeah my husband also got a fucking lobotomy apparently <laughs> jesus christ Mm-hmm. So are you Hi girl, yes. Look at you. I know you've changed so much since the last time we had you on. Look at you. Yeah, yeah, I got my villainous arc. You one, this is a fucking amazing model. I don't know if I've had the chance to tell you that yet. Thank you. You look great. I love the hand. I don't see how you're able to eat anything with it, but you look great. I'm left handed, don't worry. But that is your left hand. No. Move your left hand real quick. It's see, it moved. See, you just moved your left hand. Heh. It there just you go. moved. It, it stop, not, stop not, that. This Get is down. This, Get down. Get down. This is the. I'm on a steppy stool. I'm on a steppy stool. I'm on a steppy stool. Get down. <laughs> I can't listen to you. I'm a villainous. You see? I, I, I'm villainous. True. According to my chat, they think I'm evil. <laughs> oh, what? Well, okay, listen, some people, some people think that I'm a little abusive. Uh, I, there is no physical proof of me abusing my chat. I've only ever been nice to them. Just because I shake their cage a little bit because I think it's funny when they start running around screaming earthquake. It's well, like that's when just you keeping have, like the blood flow. That's yeah, building yeah. character. You know, when you get like a, a magnifying glass and there's a bunch of ants around you. I mean, it's just a natural occurrence. Yeah, like it's yeah. the natural progression of things in life. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. It's enrichment. It Father builds won't character. feed us chicken nuggets. Well, yeah, because th those are not good for you. Those yeah. are unhealthy. Chad, you should I'm be literally thanking being him. a proper parent. Thank you. Yeah. See, girl DM, you know what? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. I would trust yeah. you. I would trust you. you. You're a good babysitter. Thank you. Yes, I have a big I my my I have a daycare, actually. Hey, wait, for real? Uh, yeah, my chat. 
So how does that work? Like, do people just drop them off in your streams? Yeah, or they just kind of show up. A lot of them kind of come in a little bit confused. They think their mom is there. She's not. It's a daycare. Mom will pick you up after the stream is done. So how much do you get paid for that, per se? Um, is it so uh, much that you just can't even think? Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Legally under code paid, right? 42B, I am unable to answer your question oh, without don't proper bring up documentation. The tax documentation against me. <laughs> what is that? You're like the corpos that I have on when they recite the Hollow Live rules. Wait, come on. Dude, when I was watching Altair on your stream, I was freaking dying. <laughs> now, don't don't remind me of that man's name. He's, he's he, banned. He's banned. He even read my copy pasta that I put into the chat. I'm so sick of this. <laughs> Everyone's got something where they can read against me, huh? Everyone's yep. got some way to avoid yep. questions. Yep, that's that's what happens. I don't see how hard it is to say that I get you get twenty dollars per babysatted kid. Uh, uh, yeah. Do you even feed them? What do they eat? No, they're responsible for bringing their own food because uh, of, of allergy reasons, food How allergy reasons. How are you reasons. getting paid that much? You don't even feed them. Well, okay, you just so what? When... Jingle keys in front of them to keep them entertained? No, no keys. Well, that's just sad. Um, no, okay, no, no. Let me explain how it works. Okay. Okay. So, so we get them into the daycare. Okay. All right. All right. And then I send a very nice anonymous letter to their parents detailing how they can pick their kid up. Okay. And what the expenses are. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how long so does it normally it's take really for the direct. parents to return the money? Um, it depends on how Wait, where is this daycare located, by the way? Because I've seen, like, the places that you mm. hang out in, and it seems like they're dark alleys. It always feels we like an unmarked hotel or, lighting. like, a dark alley. Sufficient lighting. We have sufficient lighting. Uh, there's... They have... An internal network similar to internet that they can access um, while, they're, while they're at the daycare. Okay. Yeah, there's a sunroof. Uh, I, I have another question. Why yeah. is the door like locked f from the inside? Oh, well, we can't have them hurting themselves. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess we gotta that keep them sense. in good condition until their parents can afford to get them back. Afford. I mean, for for the parents to be able to, because you know, like daycare expenses are super high. There's waiting lists for everybody. Wait, it's really hard back. to get into. What do you mean by afford? Yeah. Uh, you know the economy is really rough currently, and you know, like, like, uh, yeah, well, yeah. No, I let them touch grass. They, care, they, they get pay to run you around first. They don't pay you after. Well, this is a retroactive daycare. People just kind of like wander in, and we have to keep this them is, entertained. You know, this is starting yeah, to sound yeah. a lot like kidnapping. They can nap. Yeah, a lot of them say that they fall asleep to the sound of my voice. That's not what that. that that's not they what that of, sentence means. They, that's not what that phrase means. <laughs> So, okay, let me let me yeah, lay this yeah. out for you. Let me lay this mm -hmm, out as mm -hmm, I mm -hmm, understand mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. take the kids. Mm -hmm. They play around in an unmarked alleyway and hotel. No, 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 no. It's not an, an alleyway. It's not an alleyway. Okay, okay, it's, where uh, is we it? Have, we have my kingdom. I think she's delusional. So I'm not delusional. You, you I am so royalty. You have them in an unmarked kingdom alleyway. No, 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 not in an alleyway. They're in like proper, proper facilities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's describe a proper facility. What, they need it's to have building. food and water readily available. They need a place to sleep. They need a bathroom. Okay, yeah, we have a bathroom, there's places to sleep, there's water, and they're responsible for their own food. How for are allergy they responsible reasons. for their own food if you're the one taking them? I don't take them, they do just the parents, show up. Do the parents know that they're there? 
Or do yeah, you need we to send, send them a message e to them. Yeah, okay. we send them a message to let them know. Do you have the kids when you're sending the message or before yeah. you're sending them? Oh. Yes. How much money per se do you ask for each parent, for each kid? Like monthly? Are you like repeatedly kidnapping them? Well, kids sleep a lot. Hey, uh, can you enter? You know what? Since you're such a good babysitter, can you entertain my chat real quick? I have to make a phone call. Yeah, yeah, sure. Hey, who wants to come to the daycare? Yeah, hello. We have games. Canadian international And we police? have snacks. Yeah, no. And and we have napping. The cereal yeah. kidnapper. Yeah. The ransom yeah, yeah, artist. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. And you get to travel. I have this really, really big, really cool house that we can hang yeah. out in. I'm at mm -hmm. the mansion in the middle of no man's land mm -hmm. in between mm -hmm. America and Canada. Are there cages for us? Yeah, yeah. If you want, if you want cages, we I also we have right we have thumb screws. So if you want to learn about stuff, we have we have a well decked out kitchen. Yeah, so I need if you, you to love bring digging it. holes. You can, you can dig holes. We're making a big hidden tunnel system in the basement. You're, you're Canada. You're the fucking government. What do you mean you don't have any guns? Yeah. Do you get uppies? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You get uppies. We have we have cages that have chains that that uh, attach to the ceiling, and you can be up in the air as long as you want. And you're not gonna come. All right, you know. I'm yeah, calling America. yeah. You get tunnels. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm done. Do you have rubber duckies? I do. I do. There's fancy rubber duckies. We have, we have hot Hello? water. Is this and there's, English, there's please? baths. Yeah. So. Do you have keys? There's a serial I kidnapper can get here. Keys? Yeah. They mainly work in Canada. Weapons? Oh well, yeah. Yeah. I oh, know yeah. it's Lots not America. Of it's you want to learn how to wield a sword? No, but I'm in no man's land. You could just send her over to but Canada. Yeah, and it, and then what do you, you mean can you get help? picked up from the daycare whenever your Canada family's ready to come guns. get They're you. They're not gonna be able to get her. Yeah. McDonald's? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. McDonald's. You can get McDonald's. Why are both yep. of these governments useless. In fact, you can also you can make what money while you're while you're at the daycare, you know and then you can get your own McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Hey, Teach me I'm the ways back. to swear. Oh, hi. Hello. Welcome back. I was just, I, I, yeah, was, no I was just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had, uh, um, I how, how was your phone call? It sounded uh, a little lo loud. Yeah, well, you know? It, 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 let's just say that I had a lot of trouble with two different phone calls. Oh, yeah, Basically, I know how it is. You know what? All I can say is they were scammers. That's the, uh, uh, it's yeah. the you know, generic idea that I got Some of the that. parents are scammers, I swear. Like, I have to use big voice on them sometimes and, you know. Big voice? Yeah. You know when they're not when they're not like following the rules of the daycare. <laughs> yeah, sometimes sometimes you have to you have to talk to them in a little bit more serious way. What Anyways, do you, what do you mean by so? Big, yeah, what know, do you I, do here? What do you do here? This kind of abandoned mansion in the middle of the woods. You know, how are you, Joel? I'm doing good. I feel like you've changed a lot since I last saw you. You know, I, I remember the magical girl arc, and now now we're at yeah. the uh, the serial you know murderer kidnapper ransom artist arc, but. You yeah. know, I feel like you, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, it's not that. Yeah. I'm sorry. What? Sorry, no, just some gas. Well, anyways, listen. Look at me in the eyes, girl. I'm just, I, mm -hmm. you know, I. After uh, you know a few feigned attempts at uh, mm -hmm. stopping this rampage, I feel like mm -hmm. maybe the daycare isn't the best way of making money. You know, working class, you know, uh, citizens mm. are not really the best form of income. Mm. May I direct you towards the mm -hmm. biggest babies there are that will give you the most money ever. Oh. Easiest cash grab of your life. Do tell. The Canadian and American governments. Now, hear me out. Uh-huh. You're used to, you know, the kidnapping for ransom uh -huh. on the parents. The biggest no, 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 babies there daycare, are. Daycare, 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 Joel. The biggest babies there are are the U.S. and and Canadian governments. Easiest way to steal money. It's like taking candy from a baby, which they already do. That way. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. Oh, is that the government? Uh, I had to cough up the uh the fucking government drone they put in my body. That way. Oh, well, that's you do. You not only get more money, but mm -hmm. you're seen as a hero by all the mm -hmm. citizens. Oh, no, that's a problem. 
Why? I have an issue with the heroes, the whole hero thing. Well, then you're seen as Robin Hood by the citizens. Yeah, that's a problem. Then you're seen. Uh, <laughs> and then you're not seen by the citizens because the government will cover it up. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, I'll do that then. God, I've actually officially done more work than the Canadian government to fucking suppress this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's officially Thank how you. that happens. Dude, the role play is, is going is. hard today, huh? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just keep kind of slipping back into it. I'm well, trying no, to think no, no. of like it's things cool. to talk about. <laughs> no, I like it because it, I don't know. I mean, we both like villainous manhwa. I mean, we've been reading yeah, them for do. a long time. Oh, yeah. All the time, every fucking five days every friday as soon as something updates all right it's time to read 16 different villainous manhwa yep that are yep. never it's going just to be a finished whole bunch of things in my read. lifetime well okay i'm actually getting uh one of the things that i've been doing that's been helping me at least with coping with long wait times is that i've been ordering the physical copies of some of them yeah so i have uh the like death is the only end only root for the villainous or whatever i have, have the physical, physical copy copies of, of a web yeah yeah they're actually really yeah yeah they actually formatted it really well <laughs> are you telling me it's not a scroll that you can roll no nope, it's not a scroll to unroll <laughs> thankfully it's you in book fucking, format uh, they make webtoons into scrolls that you have to slowly unroll to read that like, would the be amazing format. not gonna lie just bring back like <laughs> Scrollery just for Please reading your webtoons. Bring back ancient scrolls just like an avatar. I need to read by unscrolling. <laughs> oh, hey, do you have scroll number 10 of, of uh, Villainous Villainous? No, unfortunately, <laughs> I think it burned a little bit. So it's a little like, Dang. it's a little crispy. <laughs> yeah, I've been getting it's the physical with, copies. Like, fucking papyrus. <laughs> Right, right. Man, it's no, so hard I, to grow I, papyrus nowadays. I love going to the bookstore, so I get it. I normally mm -hmm. will buy anything I see, but all of them, like, that are at the bookstore, that ever, every time I go to a fucking, like, let's say Barnes and Nobles, it's all just manga. Like, there's never anything yeah. else. This, so the, the, oh gosh, what publisher is it? It was one of the, Yen, Yen Press, I think, they mm -hmm. have a manhwa devil, division now. So they have, like, the they're publishing the novel, the villain, the villain now. They have a manhwa, like, publishing side now. Wait, that's so sick. they, yeah, so I have, I'm getting Rayliana because I just really liked that manhwa a lot, and then also uh, Death is the only ending for the villainous. So I think that's on, like, book five now. Would you say that's your favorite villainous genre? Like, I, I'm trying to think, because I've read, like, a fucking mm -hmm. hundred at oh least. yeah I've read, I've read so many villainous ones do you I have like, a personal favorite can you think of one i think so far i it still has room to disappoint me and fall off <laughs> uh but i do like uh, death do is the only me. ending like that i still like that one quite well i'm still okay with how the story is going for it but i would say that that's probably my favorite one overall it's respectable it's a good one yeah, I like ones that have like kind of pitiful female leads Can I that be just honest? keep having bad things happen to them, right? A lot of the times <laughs> I will drop it as soon as the romance starts. Because the whole attraction uh, yeah. of a villainous manhwa to me is that there is no romance where it's like they're like they're uh, what is it? They're they're too dependent on their romance partner yeah like a yeah, lot of the time that's... they will be really good like independent really strong really fucking cool characters and then yeah. the like the duke comes in they're like oh i'm married to the evil duke now and then the yeah. evil duke is just like i'll do everything thanks and then the I'm, main I'm, character doesn't I, do I, anything I will, anymore you can step on me and it will be fine and you're just like That's okay right. well now everybody just their the spines strongest. have all turned to paper now okay like they're better at politics better at like uh sword play yeah. it's just like lame it's it, the romance always ruins that side of the story for me i like when there's a good balance on the romance but unfortunately a lot of the the villainous ones tend to get really heavy-handed with the romance for there example is... for those of you that don't read villainous manhwa think of it this way mm -hmm. hot really attractive really cool good at politics smart knows how to outwit people and also really good at either magic or sword play because it's always in a fancy setting 
Yes. Imagine you are that bad bitch. You're going around. Yep. You're fucking yep. Yep. slapping yep. your yep. abusive family down, making sure nobody yep. tramples on you. And yep. then suddenly, hot man comes in. Be shown in. Oh, He's got man. the beautiful k-pop hairstyle he's incredibly wow. strong everyone wow. calls him the evil but alluring duke because Amazing. he's so handsome but he's, he's so, so mysterious handsome. oh the mystery the king loves him but secretly he's, hates him he's so strong nobody what knows anything secret? about him but he who never likes women he actually could be considered an oh. insult by today's standards talks to you oh and my he god loves you. he wants oh you. my god you know what panel he two he's blushing he's panel two he's blushing you. he's never seen a competent woman in his life which actually kind of speaks more to the standards of whatever's going yeah, on in the <laughs> and as soon as he right? does he falls for you but bam as soon as you guys are together suddenly you lose all your power you have no strength you don't understand politics anymore you dwindle down into just a romance partner you just turn into you, human shaped jelly that can't turn function into, outside of the relationship yes you turn into the fucking blushing pile of goo because all you care about is as soon as the lobotomy was over you turned into that person yep. you turned into the i yep. love my husband it's just it's just this is what it is my husband takes care of me yeah and even though i have all this power and i made a contract <laughs> with the demon god my i love my husband it's quite I cannot literally. do anything else. Husband, can you please take care of the husband? Husband, yeah. husband, it goes from husband I'm, by a I am unable of doing anything, husband. It yep. literally feels like it gets swapped up and it's fucking crazy. Yep. Yep. Uh, and you're just like, okay, well, where, where did all your competence go? So at least, so death is the only ending for the villainous. I do know who the end game male lead is, but I like her approach oh, on it because read? she's still trying to win the game. Yeah, I read spoilers. She's trying to win a game, essentially. And then the other one that I like that actually the romance for this one is making sense um, is not your typical reincarnation story. Because oh. that one also that one's really interesting i feel like i've read i mean i forget all the names of them because a lot of them are very all generic are, names just, the names are just the so only similar one i know that was fully finished was beware the villainous which is really good mm. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it was like, it kind of was wishy-washy. Like, the, the plot line was a little everywhere. But it was good for what it was. There, yeah. I mean, a lot of them are good. Some of them, the romance is fine. Accomplishments of the Duke's Daughter, I think, is one where, like, mm -hmm. it's actually, the romance is okay. Mm -hmm. uh, or maybe it's another villain that has blue hair. The point is, I feel like a lot of stories, romance is, like, when the romance isn't the main aspect, it just turns to shit. Yeah, when they start adding the romance, like when, when you have established what the objective is for the character and then they just kind of change their goals because romance, like romance, it's like, OK, I understand. Sure, you can have them fall head over heels for each other. Sure. But but if we could retain their intelligence after this has happened, because one of the tropes that just tends to happen, even in general, like with, 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 with the manhwa romance stuff is just the like, ah, we're now a couple and we have become it is idiots. It's trope after trope, too, because it is. Yeah. The, the real protagonist was actually also incarnated or is also actually the villain of the story. And the villainous was actually not a villain at all, which kind of yeah. like defeats the purpose of being the villain uh, in some ways. And then, like, there, it's trope after trope. There's a lot, like, the evil Duke who actually secretly is nice and you, he just misunderstood, so you have to take him. He's a cinnamon roll. He did yeah. cinnamon roll. Uh, he does, he's scared of women and, <laughs> and. <laughs> but he looks intimidating, so everyone but thinks he's evil. But he's so evil. scary. It's like my secretly hot husband. That's the name of one of them. <laughs> to be fair, I am more <laughs> interested in this, though, rather than a lot of the tropes that I get from Japanese manga. So, like, Yes, I feel like it's... with me reading like stuff like that, like webtoons and shit, it goes from it's okay. I'm reading this culture's like uh, literary literature. Yes, I'm swell. And as soon as I get sick of all the tropes from this literature, I go into another culture's literature. Yep. As soon yep. as I get yep. sick of all the tropes from the Korean literature, I'll go into another. It's like it's. Uh, that's we'll how find, it feels. I'll find another one that feels refreshing because right now the tropes, while they are fairly overdone with some of them, I mean, you can it's still not enjoy overdone them. in my. Like, I, I cannot, I do not think I can handle any more high school romance shoujo manga. Why are they always I think, in high school? Right? Japan, you don't right? need everyone to be in high school. 
You can have well, adults as your characters. <laughs> it's right? unnecessary. And then, the, and then the one that has adults for characters, you're always going to have that arc where it's just like, well, is it actually cheating on her? And you're just like, yes, you are cheating on yes. her. Right? You need to, that you are cheating. No, I'm going to take him back. He feels so bad. It's like, can we not do this? Don't even be started on this shit when there's like, they always have to make their characters, which are always going to be in adult scenarios, but they never make the characters adults. Just yeah. have your characters be adults. You're putting them in like world ending scenarios. Make them in a, get them out of high school. The world's about to Can end. Can we graduate, but I have to please? Go to class. Stop! Stop it! What is wrong with you? Graduate was... them! I was actually, that, that reminds me that um, I was having, a, this chat comes up every now and again in my chat where people will come in and be like, oh, like, what's your favorite anime series and would you want to live in that world? Do you and get I, that I a usually lot? think, sometimes, sometimes I get it. I've, I've been asked like a daily like double never digits for get that one. I anime questions from new viewers. It's always, why are you a man? But like, yeah, I, I, <laughs> why are you a man? Maybe I, I don't know. Maybe I just give more weeb vibes than you. I don't know. Do but... I not give weeb vibes? I just explained my, my rage at tropes and anime. <laughs> no. no. Yeah, Is you don't really I'm give very, weeb vibes so much. That's fucked up. Yeah. That's fucked up. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. But, but. I tend to think usually on like the really interesting series that a lot of people like a lot and usually go, hmm, if I was a regular citizen or like a regular person in that world, that would suck, actually. There, you know what? There's a perfect uh, example of this. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a YouTube channel I watch sometimes called RDC World. They did mm -hmm. a skit where they were put in uh, into Naruto, and, but mm -hmm. they weren't the main character. Yeah, and it, they just—it's just the worst thing ever. Yeah, and like any world, any anime world where you're not the main character is immediately the worst thing ever. Yep, either either that or if it's one that's like, oh, but this one's a comfy one, and it's just like, okay, make sure double check first that it's not some eldritch horror situation because uh, it's the so bad. Donyatsu, Donyatsu, which was like the, the cute series with the cat donut animals that's post-apocalyptic and they used to be people i uh, so <laughs> that <laughs> have you have you seen the one with like the pet spider it's like post-apocalyptic and you like it's just this one woman and there's a giant spider that lives yeah with her. yeah pokemon you're gonna have a kid's gonna run into you and beat the crap out of your childhood friend because a lot no, of the no, times wait, in pokemon on, on, there's so on. many people that don't if you're not a pokemon master you're pretty much just you get some random pokemon that's usually what it happens or you're required to get the one that the family has for the business to be fair you could easily become god in pokemon i mean it's dangerous how? don't get how? me wrong don't how get would wrong. you become god how would you become don't god in pokemon wrong. You could easily die, but if you're like, yes. if you know the way to do everything, like, let's say you're like uh, a speedrunner or like a Nuzlocker, literally nothing can really harm you unless somebody kills you. Unless, like, another human being or a Pokemon a attacks you directly instead of the no, other Pokemon. No, you're but, fine. but listen, but listen. There is one key aspect that a lot of people are like, oh, I would kill in Pokemon World or whatever, right? You need to be the Pokemon Whisperer in order for that to happen. Because when you're playing the Pokemon games, it doesn't really care about how you're actually nurturing the creature. But when you're in actual Pokemon world, um, you do need to build up that, that level of true. trust. You do actually have to physically take care of them. They can't just be in the balls all the time. Yeah, and also it's just like but they're goofy they have little feelings. Guys. They're goofy little guys that could also kill you in your sleep, and probably does happen in the actual realm of yeah. Pokemon. You've got to be the very what's best. A Pokemon yeah. that would not accidentally kill you, but is still strong. Think about it. There's got to be one really strong, but would probably would like very unlikely accidentally kill you. It has to have like actual control over itself. Toga kiss, but toga kisses are super crazy rare. Chancy. Pure normal. In order for you to get a chance, you have to go to medical school. That's also true. You also wouldn't be able to go to the <laughs> safari wrong. zone because the safari zone wrong. doesn't let you catch stuff. I forgot. You actually have to go to medical school because the, the you otherwise have to go to medical are like school if you want your chancy. <laughs> Go 
those Pokemon can't really kill you. They are, they, they can possess you and murder you. Did you not? Hello, what's Dull that one Skull like super never. depressed girl? Dull Skull would never. He's a good boy. A lot of ghost Pokemon are assholes, but they're like playful assholes. Right? To be fair, Gengar did accidentally kill Ash. But that's Lucario, not the same thing. Lucario's are almost impossible to get. Wait, Pokemon that have high intelligence. Metagross, which are very hard to catch, and they, but I feel like they would be like, all right, fuck off now, dude. I'm, I don't want to deal with you. You're not going to get me. Like, I could easily kill you, but I'm not going to, because then I know other people are going to come over here. Drifloon takes kids. Litwick literally drained life force. Yep. Plus, Abra, like, you're not going to catch, bro. <laughs> Abra, no, Abra's not. Abra's going to, you, you have to join a psychic cult if you want to get Abra. Waltz like, to Gardevoir, yeah, but I feel like Gardevoir. If Gardevoir gets jealous, you're you're fucked. Like, yeah, I, you're, yeah, she's gonna you're kill like you. literally you. You have a Yandere Pokemon. That's what you've decided to like, go with. Gardevoir will kill you. So if you go yep. if you go Gardevoir route, you cannot make the Gardevoir jealous. I mean, Gallade maybe. Slowbro seems chill. Slowbro does not even have like the Slowbro is the equivalent of a lobotomized like uh, rat. Like he's he does there is no brain. <laughs> he's gonna fucking die from starvation because he doesn't know how to eat. Because you have to fucking do everything for him. It's you have like to put having your mouth a koala. You have to put how your are hand you gonna down have his world domination with a koala? <laughs> Slow King, maybe, but where are you gonna find a King's Rock? That's fifteen thousand dollars in the game. He's he's perfect. Leave Slow. <laughs> he's perfect. Snorlax, think... you'd think is good, but you would go into debt, and it would also accidentally yes. kill you if you sleep next to it. Yeah, like okay, if you, say you have a Snorlax or even a Slowbro, because based off their size, mm. what are you going to be doing as your day job to make sure that you can afford food for your Pokemon? Because we don't because know how if much you're Pokemon living, trainers make. Like, yeah, probably Pokemon, not much. That's why they probably fleece everybody's wallets when they come across them in the walkways, right? Like, <laughs> how you're not making income. You know what? That's a unless good idea. Unless you beat a gym. If you feed that's like Snorlax equivalent to humans, doing the Olympics. Humans have a ton of calories. True. That might one human a day might keep him fed. True. But what so you, okay, you become a mass humans? murderer. But like the 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 whole discussion that this is coming from, because there's people like, well, this Pokemon wouldn't kill you. No, the discussion is if you are a regular Andy in the Pokemon world. But okay, but it's humans going are still to be alive. very hard to Here's the, no, no, become I, the Pokemon master. I think you're thinking of a in a different because like there are people people are clearly living in that world so clearly they have figured out a way not to get fucking killed and still be trainers of these beasts so like there has to be a way we just don't know it we don't know how they fucking survive they sell their pokemon to science maybe the pokemon like the people the humans in the pokemon world are just like stronger than us like they're they're like meta humans <laughs> maybe like, they probably had so much like us, which are much better psychic energy you know what well, who's to say that the people, the humans, no, no. Who's to say that the humans in the Pokemon realm are not just being like mind controlled and mass by the psychic Pokemon? Because ghosts, because the to psychic facilitate. Pokemon are bitches. They're scared of bugs and they're scared of ghosts. They are literally yeah. Like, why not? They're the why not of employ meat beings that have the ability to control those? Then, huh? I think I think an Eevee. Well, I think an Eevee would be fine. Pikachu would kill you. Yeah. I think Eevee, Pikachu would kill you, yeah. You already, like, you have Eevee as a baby, and it's just a, like a dog. It's like a cat. As you as it grows, it, it gets attached to you like a normal animal. And then yeah. when it evolves, it could be dangerous by accident, but it wouldn't physically try to harm you. It would be like play, uh, play fighting. So I think an Eevee you could handle. I feel like an Eevee is a Pokemon that a regular human being could handle. You know, house insurance must be so expensive in the Pokemon world. No, they could probably have like, better oh, materials. What for Pokemon those do you have? Okay, okay, you have an Eevee. All right, and it's you've been okay. What's your job? Okay, you work in welding. Okay, okay. Uh, your monthly premium is going to be this much. How long? How long have you had this Eevee? By the way, what's your relationship? You with? <laughs> Don't worry, it's going to evolve into an Espeon. Nothing's going to go bad. <laughs> Restricted breeds for apartments. God, can you imagine if your neighbor had a Snorlax? <laughs> would that be would that be specious if they were like, uh, sorry, we don't accept Machamps here. 
Uh, just to, we had an incident last week with this woman and her machamp. Mm -hmm. We're not mm -hmm. allowing them in. No more machamps in this house. <laughs> and you're like just some karate dude, and you're like, I don't get the problem. What, what's wrong with my machamp? What's He's the my problem? Bro. Wait, wait, why can't I have my bro with me? What's, my, what's, the, what's the big deal? <laughs> God, can you imagine? So at the gym, there's already gym bros that don't wipe off the machines. Can you imagine how poorly behaved other people's Pokemon Sweaty are going to be? Machamp ass sweat on the fucking machines, and you're like, bro, clean up after your fucking machamp. Yeah, right. Oh my God, that'd be that disgusting. That would suck. Can yeah. you imagine, like, the people road rage incidents if people had Pokemon? <laughs> so... Hey, get your fucking Voltorb out of the street! What the fuck? I'm walking! I'm driving! What the fuck? Get him out Voltorb of here! Voltorb just electrocutes the guy. It's gonna fucking explode before it electrocutes anybody. Right? Gosh, can you imagine? Oh my god, that would be... Somebody has a freaking Voltorb that's got anxiety and they take it on the subway system in New York for the first that's time ever. That's a good point. Pokemon with anxiety would be fucking damn murderous. <laughs> Think of all the people that have pets, that their pets have developed anxiety because they didn't know how to train them properly. That's those same people have in Pokemon? Dead. Dead. Thank you for all the raids, by the way. I see Hi. Tiny, Malalum, <laughs> Bun, May. Thank you guys for the raids. Big love. Deer, I appreciate it. Welcome on in, homies. Teddy, Girl DM. Thank yeah, you guys hi. for the raids. Big love. Welcome yeah. on in. Yippee. <laughs> I don't know why your Yippee got me. <laughs> Quiet as Yippee. Joe, quickly boot the villainous. Boop the villainous. No, that's not permitted. You make one TikTok and literally get thousands of comments about how they're booping you and you can't do anything. Don't fucking talk to me about that. I already have to deal with the cage joke. <laughs> I can't get rid of this shit. It's just nope. there forever now. Nope. Yep, it's there forever. Also, I'm not going to boop the motherfucker with a like a 16 inch gauntlet that has spikes at the end of it. Spiky. Look at her fucking index finger. Spiky! Look it's good for back scratches. Finger. Here, look, I can take this off so that I'm a little bit less imposing. I don't know if that helps. Wait. Put it back on. Put it back on. Okay. I like it without. Yeah. You're very regal. Mm -hmm. But now, now the silhouette is offset because now that you have the big hand, but nothing big on the other side. Put it back on. Yeah, that's why the cape is there. Put it back on. Oh, he's back. He's back. I usually take the cape off when I put the the arm to the down position when well, I'm drawing. I would assume that you would take the cape off when you go inside a house. Would well, you? It's a bit drafty you, in if here. If you have a cape and yes. you go inside somebody's home, do you yes. take it off like a jacket, or do you keep yes. it on? Yes. You take it off. I but feel it's like drafty you, could, in I, here. you could keep it on. Yippee! You can keep it on. That's fair. It's good to hold chicken nuggets. She literally has a fucking kebab skewer for her hand. Yeah, yeah. I can take me to KBBQ. You don't even need the tongs or anything. I can just, just be like pick <laughs> at it. I can just pick it up and flip it over. You're exactly like I was when I was a kid, and I made those paper versions of your gauntlet hands. Yeah, your fingies. yeah. That's 100 what those are. Mm-hmm. You know, I could actually see you in a Warhammer universe with this outfit. Probably. I've had people say that. I've had people say Fire Emblem, Final Fantasy. No, you're um, too well designed I got called Fire generic, boring VTuber design, and I was like, all generic. right, somebody doesn't watch. Yep. <laughs> somebody was like, I can't believe Girl DM had such a unique design and went to a generic look, and I was like, wait, basic tech wear was the, the unique design? What do you mean unique? <laughs> Everything is unique. There's no such thing as generic unless it's uninspired. The only right. way to be generic is if you made a design, but you don't even know what your design wanted to be. Yeah, right? That's this impossible. one had very, this one is very much communicating also, you what are the intent too, was. You are way too well designed to be in fucking Fire Emblem. We're not going to talk about that. We don't, I don't, <laughs> don't want to talk about Fire Emblem. Do you think I should have lately. toothpaste hair? Should I have toothpaste hair? The only time Fire Emblem's designs have hit is when I've seen the re, the, like the art from Fire Emblem Heroes. And I, I don't even get mm -hmm. me started on that. Some of these fucking designs make me angry. Nephany, why do you not have pants? You would look so much better with pant armor. Why does she have a mini skirt? 
In what world yes. does that make sense? She literally is the full body armor on the above section and then randomly has a mini skirt. Yeah, Fire Emblem, we're, again, another yeah. thing where they're all teenagers randomly. Why yeah. are they teenagers? Where yeah. did the teenage aspect of that? They are not teen. I, like they randomly made them teenagers. There is nothing that they're doing or nothing that they d do or anything that would indicate them being teenagers in the t in the like in the entire thing. They were teenagers to sell. Making somebody younger in a in like a story just to sell products is always the yeah. stupidest thing in the world. And Marketing. so many Japanese companies do this. Marketing. I hate marketing. Marketing. I hate it, girl DM. I'm sick of it. Yeah. Also, <laughs> somebody in the chat mentioned this earlier when you were getting your water. I apparently yeah. I'm the only person that just calls you girl. Yes. Everyone else calls you DM or Luna. Yep. You're the only one that calls me girl. <laughs> There's no way I'm the only person that says girl <laughs> to you. You are the only person that says girl. You never corrected me. I was never corrected, so I kept going for it. I just I've told you. I've told you you can call me Luna, but you just I think it's it's muscle memory at this point. I don't think you could swap over. It's just I've like I've never heard anyone call you Luna until like a Hi, year Akita. ago. Hi Kita. For a year ago, it's been Luna since the start though. I've been calling you girls since the start, and I never talked to anyone that called you Luna. She corrected you at least a dozen times that I saw. Hey, Dragonator's vouching for about. me. I don't remember and that. It's okay. Name one time she corrected me. That one time, do you remember? I don't. Since when were you Luna? Since the beginning. It's all I've always been Luna. I just my my handle is girl dm see the problem here mm -hmm. the problem here see you What's swapped up, over early because your name before porcelain maid was joel foxy joel <laughs> yeah you swapped over at the right time i just i'm kind of stuck with girl underscore dm underscore now because that's what everybody you can swap knows now you can you should have swapped when you became the villainous I should have, but that would like I, I don't even know what name it would have been like, and then you have to redo all of your branding you for can't stuff even too. Think of another name besides Girl DM. Well, actually, I was thinking like DM is in like Carpe DM because that would work as DM, right? DM Girl DM. Yeah, DM. Just well, just swap it over to DM because I, most people call me DM anyways, and DM then it could would be have DM. Been a cool villainous name. What the fuck? Right. That actually sounds, yeah, Lord DM, right? Duke DM. DM, Duchess DM. Right? DM, yeah. Man, that would have been better. What the fuck? <laughs> but the I problem is, is that, that there's an esports professional that's already named DM, so I don't think I could get the handle well, on okay, Twitch, and I don't on, know if I'd want to move it over. It depends what game they play. Overwatch. <laughs> I think he swapped off Overwatch. Shut up! <laughs> Do I have Luna permissions? No. Luna permissions is given to people that when would I you have an overlap between usually Overwatch game with. viewers and VTuber viewers? I think you're totally fine on I taking have that. An overlap. I have an overlap. Uh-huh. With who? Ruben? <laughs> no, I started off as an Overwatch community person, dude. Some of my mods are from the Overwatch community. Oh my god. <laughs> DM would have worked. DM would have worked. I feel yeah, like. DM would have worked. Yeah, DM. What other? Maybe what eventually. I mean, what depends other names on. Depends on of? if. Um. Well, I think like DM would would work the best because it is. It sounds the same as how most people call me, right? Okay. DM and DM. Right. What's acceptable for chatters to call you? I prefer prefer DM or the full girl DM. You could have gone with like. Something Luna based. There's so many Lunas though. Luna DM? Luna DM? Nah. That doesn't really roll, does nah, it? Nah, it doesn't really roll. Like, I, I like DM. I like DM. I'm trying to think of names now. Right? I want to think. Just girl. <laughs> just <the laughs> just only, girl. The only just girl, girl on the platform. That's me. I'm the only girl on Twitch, actually. I would like to say, chat, before anyone roasts me too hard, I was allowed. Girl DM was like, yeah, sure. I mean, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, it doesn't bother. No, like, Dole, Dole has permission. <laughs> it does It does sound kind of misogynistic when I say it sometimes, though. 
Hey girl. <laughs> hey girl. <laughs> I think it's I think it's really funny. The reason why I have like most people I, I ask them to call me DM is because there are some people that say like girl in the same way that people say guys. Like hey guys. Hey girl. Hey girl, right? So I've I've encountered people that say that before and it always throws me for a loop and I'm just like, uh, are, you, are you talking to me? And they're like, oh no, I just meant in general. Well, you know when I say when I call you and I'm like, hey girl, like I don't see it as like the actual like, word girl no, right yeah, i don't like see it as the word girl, girl in my right? brain i'm just like oh yeah girl yeah and it, 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 you're fucking with my mind now because now i'm thinking of it as the actual noun and it's like breaking my brain <laughs> well i can't believe joel is a misogynist I, well listen there's plenty of evidence against me uh -huh. <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot of evidence for people there's a lot of clips out there that people could use against me if they really wanted to fucking push that narrative what what was the word for when you hate everybody uh, Not because misandry is when you hate men, misogyny is when you hate women. Androgyny. What was the one for both? No, androgyny <laughs> is when you can't, when there's like misanthrope. That's it. I thought that was when you hate lycanthropes. <laughs> oh, that too. That's when you hate werewolves. Just hater. Yeah, I'm just a hater, guys. <laughs> Anyone on the internet. Introvert. Oh yes, actually, I am one. <laughs> misanthrope. I never I was, hear I'm, the word. I've yeah. never heard throat be used any any time besides with lycanthropes. Yep, misanthrope. Lycanthropes or whatever people want to pronounce it as. Are you a misanthrope? Is that what this is? Yeah. Do you hate everyone? <laughs> I don't know. Um, you're always excited to see your friends. I don't know. If you I, hate I everybody. like I like my friends. You almost I do knocked like my me friends. out the first time we met, and you fucking yeah, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Butt me in the stomach. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's just like I saw you, it's like, oh, hey, that's Joel. <laughs> you you also like ran immediately afterwards. You came in, you like hit me I like was a fucking checking ballistic into my hotel. And then I you was left. checking into my room. I had to I had to, to sneak attack and leave. Chat, imagine if somebody ballistic missile hugged you and then with it like waved at you the and missile then ran away always knows where it is the you missile fucking targeted <laughs> oh, it, was, it was it was i was just like ding, ding, target acquired oh my god i love that that's so it was it was really funny i love like hugs that kind of hurt you a little bit because it's like this this is the, this is affection i'm being shown affection even if i'm going to feel like i need to throw up later yep Still crack up at the fact Heavenly was standing next to DM and asked where she went. That was so funny. <laughs> God, that was hilarious. That was so because because like TwitchCon, I I'm a cryptid at like conventions. I'm yeah. a cryptid. Even my friends are like, I don't know where DM is. Like, we're gonna get we're, we're gonna get food at this time. I'm like, yeah, I'll be there. And then I show up and they're like, oh, yeah, you're here. <laughs> to explain, at we uh, me and Girlie and we're at Twitch uh, Twi <laughs> TwitchCon. Titch. We were at TwitchCon. <laughs> And me and uh, DM, me and girl DM were hanging. God, it sounds weird. Me and girl are hanging out uh, at the mm -hmm. partner lounge. And yeah, yeah, Heavenly me and Joel. Father, uh, another VTuber, came up and was just like, hey, where's girl DM? I've, I've been looking to say hi to her. Girl DM sitting right next to him, sipping like lemonade from a cup, just looks up at him, turns and looks directly in his face. And I look at him and I'm like, right there. <laughs> <laughs> and he his words exactly are like oh what the fuck <laughs> yep and the funny thing is is i saw him when he was coming into the partner lounge and i even like waved at him just like the little wave because i have anxiety right so it's just like little <laughs> wave and he made eye contact with me and nodded so it's like oh okay he knows that th this is me and <laughs> his reaction nope. of just being like what the fuck <laughs> and me just sitting here being like my guy <laughs> that was the creature uh, energy that just came through right there <laughs> yep 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 i'm yeah I'm, I'm a ninja i just like disappear until it's it's time for me to be like scheduled for something no you're good at being a cryptid i feel like that yep. helps a lot with uh with like keeping yourself safe and being able to get to places mm -hmm. on time mm -hmm. oh yeah did you tell them about the the lunch <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> So, I mean, I, they, they know, obviously, but for those of you that are watching this in the future, whether on YouTube and the VODs or whatever, mm -hmm. basically, mm -hmm. TwitchCon story for those. Uh, Vegas. Wanted, Vegas TwitchCon, to clarify. Vegas TwitchCon, yeah. 
I wanted to go to a fancy restaurant with friends. So what happened was I scheduled a fancy restaurant, which I thought was fine dining. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. And I was bringing over Girl DM, Chibi Doki, Nags, uh, Juniper Actius, and Lena Lazar. Mm -hmm. And we were going there the entire time we were late to my own reservation. And if I'm late, I have to pay like $150. Yeah, Me, it's like one of those them. Vegas... Yeah. So girl DM is at the restaurant immediately already waiting. And I I showed up early. Like trying, I got there early. Yes. I am trying to babysit Juniper Actius and Lena because they decided to do an improv signing meet and greet. So I am kind of like sitting there like, okay, come on guys, wrap it up, wrap it up. You need to sign these faster. We're already late. I'm not paying 150 for your for your fucking slow asses. And while I'm in the line yelling at them to get a move on people in line start recognizing me because i'm getting angrier as i'm yelling at them so like wait that angry guy sounds familiar that wait sounds, the more angry that, he sounds wait the more a minute. familiar he sounds and wait like, a minute get your fucking ass moving we need to go i'm not wasting my money on you and then people start coming up to me and they're like hey uh, wait, you're joel right are, 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 i recognize joel? your voice joel? from your anger can you sign this for me and i'm like oh my god i am getting so angry that people are starting to fucking recognize me now so i'm like <laughs> okay i start signing while yelling at them to finish it off and then we 10 minutes late are waiting for an uber we try to find uh, we are trying to find an uber to get almost to them. impossible now, Vegas, Nags that weekend has so bad DM, and now they are both waiting there for me and then and then chibi's there too and i have to fucking rush the driver to get over there we barely made it in but we did make it in and then context, also while this I, happened I, while this is happening i get there early and so i knew that vegas has like a lot of bright lights and it's confusing to get around places so i looked up the location that joel had given us and found the instructions on how to get there because i'm reading through the reviews and people are like a little bit hard to find you need to go this way immediately when you get in to get there so it's like okay cool so i find the place i go up to it and i'm like hey we have a reservation at this time and i'm pretty sure that it's going to be a little bit late however we didn't realize that well we were getting lunch service and the kitchen was going to close an hour after our reservation started so I the got there early. The also closing, so we're on a timer, basically. We're, you're on a timer, essentially. They have a timed underwater speed run, essentially, to get to this fancy restaurant so that they can get food because they close after lunch because then they prep to reopen for dinner service later. So I get there. I go up to the lady. I'm like, hey, yeah, we have a reservation. The people are on the way. Uh, would it be okay to be seated early? Because I'm thinking, okay, if they're going to get there late, then... I can get in, hopefully, if they allow me to claim the reservation and then take pictures of the menu, send it to the group chat. People can, I can order for everybody. So when they get here, their food thankfully, will be here and we, we won't get in trouble. We did do that. We did get it. One thankfully, thing I no. was worried about, though, yes. was the fucking uh, dress policy, which apparently didn't fucking yeah. matter at the end of the day. It didn't matter but at all, yeah. While we were thinking about that, I'm wearing my business casual. And then Juniper and Lena looked like they just came out of a fucking rave. <laughs> Yeah, they did. Everyone else in the group is wearing very nice clothes to go to this place. And then Juniper and Lena, one, forgot about the dress policy or something. And they're wearing like rave clothing. Fishnet. <laughs> so we get there and I'm like, if you guys get fucking kicked out, I'm going, I, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose my mind because I'm sitting there like, ba like basically the entirety of when I go to a convention and I have to make plans myself, I am babysitting. That's what yep. it feels like at all times. Thankfully, yep. they didn't give a shit about the fucking dress wear policy because nobody was in. So we were able to get in. Yep. We were fine. Yep. We went to yep. a nice restaurant. We were restaurant. able to order the food. It was nice. Chibidoki and Lena ordered like children's food. Like one of them yep. got like orange juice. The other one got chicken nuggets. It, you know, yep. everyone else was yep. eating like elegantly and it was nice. It was nice. You guys, a lot of you don't realize Chibi dresses very well. She's yeah. she's very, she has bro, very good Chibi fashion is sense. Bear for real, bro. She, she yeah. <laughs> Also, her and Nags both got lost in the freaking casino where this restaurant was located. I, I, I had didn't. to run through the casino to find both of them in time for us to go sit down because they needed half of the people in the reservation inside the restaurant. And then we did the birthday prank, too, where we all sang happy yeah. birthday to Chibi. Yeah, we did. Oh, my God. 
Well, I didn't talk about the 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 fucking waiter kind of hassling me for my attack <laughs> for like Italian knowledge. Yeah, the, I kept the, mispronouncing the everything on the was, menu. And he the was guy so was Italian. Like, it was so funny. He was so Italian that every time I mispronounced yeah. something, he was like, mm, "No, this is how you pronounce and it's it." Just like, do you want to no, know the like history this. of of this? And then he would tell me the history of the thing that I was ordering. <laughs> he didn't do it for anyone else. It was just for me. <laughs> no, he saw me. No. He saw me as the weak link, and he was like, "I'm gonna bully you specifically, so you know about yep. Italia." Yep. Yeah, and him and Nags just had like the waiter and Nags just had this psychic connection. It was ridiculous. <laughs> they would make eye contact and it's like psychic, wiggle their eyebrows Italian. at each other, and then the guy would like bring stuff out. It was just like what? <laughs> Which we later found out was because Nags secretly paid for the entire meal yeah. when nobody was looking. Yep, I was just like, well, I, I saw him and I was like, is he? He wouldn't, and then he did, and I was just like, you. This was during his subathon, so I think he had the extra, so he wanted to pay for everyone. Yeah. Even though well, I, I was usually will, do it. I'll snipe the bill. I learned that from Geary. Like I went to the like East Coast. I went to Canada East Coast last year for about a week to spend time with friends and I spent a lot of time with Geary. Geary and Nemer and I Kai snipe bills like no other. You have to they have inside knowledge. Like they will call and snipe the bill on making the reservation. You can do that? Yes. That's fucked up. You know what it is? It's people, uh, I, I, a lot of people have different tricks. Like, Numi goes to the bathroom when she's about to snipe the yeah. bill. So if you ever see, if you're ever at dinner with Numi and she goes to the bathroom, that's when she's trying to pay for everybody. She is not pissing. That girl is not pissing. She is trying to pay. <laughs> there is no everybody. piss coming out of that woman. <laughs> ever. <laughs> she's just blocked up constantly. <laughs> I mean, bill I've tried to do it it's before. God, I've I I have sniped bills before several times, but most of the time, what what works best for me is if it's just like me and a group of friends that don't aren't used to having their bills sniped, then I'll snipe them because it's just like hey. hey. Well, what I do is I don't want to secretly snipe it. I want to cause an argument between all of us. That way, I can beat them in the dominance of using my <laughs> booming voice and my incredible wit. True, true. All, all I know is that I'm stubborn as fuck, and if we get into a verbal argument, I will be the winner, and I will be the one who pays for the bill. That's why I try to make it into a verbal argument before anyone notices. That way, once everyone starts arguing, I'm like, I'll do it. And, I and will then you, do it. you step forward as the hero with the credit card. Uh, not as a hero. I would rather be seen as a reluctant, uh, like, dad. I feel like that fits me more with how my chat I'll treats pay for me. It. Yeah. I've had, oh man, when we were at, so I, I did this, I went on a ski trip and with Numi and um, some other VTubers and the first restaurant that we had dinner at, they were like, okay, well, how should we pay for this? Cause everybody of course wanted to snipe each other, but didn't want to, didn't like figure out how to snipe it. Wanted easy, even like standings for sniping. So everyone was just like, okay, well, I'll take our credit cards out and put them into a bundle. And then the staff lady can choose which credit card out of that. And that's the person that has to pay. You know how to win that? And so they go to do Put that. Put a picture on your credit card. Yep. They go to do that. And the lady is like this older woman who's super duper sweet, was really nice at her table. Um, she's just like, wow, I've only had older gentlemen do this. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. She has this table you all of these like younger people income. sitting there with their cards. <laughs> credit card roulette. Yep. Because we got like fancy food too. It was a fancy restaurant inside of the the. I don't even the like fancy resort. restaurants. I want fine dining. I want stupid Michelin star restaurants that are like hey, dumb dining. If, if you come visit me and my cat, I will take you to the really really fancy I don't place. I want the restaurant. I just want the cat at that point. I just want to see whiskey. Yeah, go see whiskey. And He's on dog. my desk right now. I, I my desk. Well, if you want to see my dog, I have to bring you to meet my mom, and I don't know if I'm prepared for that. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> Dad DM's gonna try to beat the shit out of me. Oh, he would. <laughs> that, your dad <laughs> likes me. No, he does. He does. He's, he's entertained by you. Oh, uh, you know, I'll take entertainment. That's good value. I don't. That doesn't no, mean he's I, not gonna beat me up. No, Joel, come he visit may, me so we can go to fancy while restaurant. Punching me. I feel like that's what's gonna happen. Probably. He. You know what he would do? Probably is he would do the handshake thingy when he like crushes your hand. He'd probably <laughs> do that too. He probably would. <laughs> He'd probably be able to. He's he's pretty freaking strong. 
so yeah, he would probably just like crush your hand, but but in, in an affectionate, semi-joking yeah. way. I can finally give your mom the plushie that I owe her. Yes, yeah, she would love that. And then we could go to a really fancy restaurant where we both have to dress up and they have uh, three different forks, two knives and three different spoons and everything is set up in a certain way so you have a rotation that you have to use your utensils. You have no idea how much I want to do this just to fucking like be able to talk shit whenever I watch those fancy food videos with chat. Whenever Dude, I react to Andy, this is the if, main reason why I want to try If you ever want to take a trip out, I'll fly to I will take you point. to the fancy food places. There is a... I was looking up actually like fine dining slash high dining in in my area and there is one that once I think they do only on the weekends you can only have eight people and you have to reserve like three months in advance and it's 200 to 400 dollars per person to be served a multi-course meal by a chef in front of you with like a view of the downtown I'll do it man that sounds fun yeah, I would. I, I want I would to go love do to it. Do that. I would love to. You know what? Eventually, I do want to visit Canada. So I, yeah. it's, I'll go visit Girl DM. Yeah, we'll I'll go take get you the to fancy the fancy food. restaurants. That way, I can also uh, get to see whiskey. Yeah, you can see whiskey. We could go to a, a stage play, and I can. Uh, we could also go to one of the historical buildings. It also has like fine I can dining also save things. All the plushies from your evil clutches. True. You are a plushie abuser. Can I say that? <laughs> Uh, the yes. amount of times <laughs> I've seen you with anyone's plushie, even your own, you're yeah. abusive. You have no, yeah. like, yeah. you have no sentimental attachment to plushies. No. I, you're, I can't believe you. You're a psychopath. You're a psychopath. I once painted a bullseye on a teddy bear. You're a psycho. And gifted it to my cousin. To, no, there's good reason behind it. It was a mandatory gift exchange in elementary school, and the person that I got, first of all, was the person I hated the most in my class, and second of all, it was a super cheap and ugly teddy bear. What that did the had, teddy like, bear do? He was born that way. Be nice. Yeah, well, I made him better. I changed him from whatever dollar store tag he had to blow what me up bear fuck? and the put fuck? a bullet like a, a target on his stomach and then gifted it to my cousin for christmas because as like a gag gift because my cousin um liked going to the shooting range and so then the week following we went to the shooting range and he blew up the blow me up bear and it was great <laughs> that makes me so sad <laughs> that poor little bear how do you no, not dude. have any like empathy for plushies i how what is their product of consumerism? But, but you monster. <laughs> they have lives of their own. They have empathy for the plushies. I have more empathy for plushies than I do for human beings. Yeah, you might want to, you might want to, like, expedite your trip over here that if you need to liberate some plushies. I need to liberate. I saw you put your own plushie in a fucking oven. Yeah, and I also put it in the dishwasher. Free them. Free them. And I've thrown it down the hallway, too. You're a sicko. <laughs> you're a sick fuck. I just like no the video I have with your plushie when I just open the porch door and throw your plushie you out in the snow and close the, the door. No, don't yeah. say that. My chat's actually gonna cry. They love. They 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 literally. I love call... your plushie. It's super cute. It's probably one of the best plushies that I have. <laughs> I love. My I love my Joel plush. VTuber plush. Anytime, anytime I have friends over that yeah, know about mine. VTubers and stuff, I they get the grand tour and I like. I'm like, here, look at how cute the Joel plushie is. Did you know you is, can right? change the clothes on it too? A lot of people don't mm -hmm. know this. You can actually remove the dress and put on different clothes on the plushie. Somebody oh, made a sweater I just removed, for the plushie too. I just removed the dress from mine and then I attached each limb to a toy horse with a piece of string. I'm gonna ignore that. So <laughs> yeah. I, I, my own plushie that I have right here, I put a little mushroom beanie on him too. And he's just sits at my desk, he's so cute. Aww. Chad, it's fine. Her plushie is fine. It's it, the, the reason her plushie is fine is because her mom told her to be nice to it. Well, the reason my, my Joel plushie is fine is because just in case Joel never holds up on his end of the deal of giving my mom a plushie, I need to have one to give to her. You're using it as a hostage! <laughs> No, no, no. Your plushie is very happy. Your plushie is being kept warm and safe. No it's, damage has come to it's it. It's getting mental damage watching how you abuse the other plushies. 
it has to sit there. It's warm. As you it's beat safe. The shit out of the other plushies, and he's just there, like, oh no. <laughs> It's at the daycare, just like daycare. Exactly, it's in daycare. Girl DM, like, walks up to my plushie with her long fingies and, like, gently caresses its face and is like, you're safe. You're safe you're for safe. now. And then Sayu's plushie's right next to it and I just punch it in the <laughs> face. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did you not, when you were growing up, you didn't, like, you didn't look at plushies with, like, empathy or, like, sentimental value? Uh, no, because I only really had one plushie when I was growing up. I had my, I had a, a little leopard plushie that okay. I called Lumpard because I couldn't say leopard. That's and that cute. was essentially like the only toy I had because I didn't really get, we didn't have a lot of money. Well, so that was like the only value one. Too? Is Lumpard yeah, Lumpard, like a Lumpard, Lumpard has sentimental value. Yes. Okay. I was going to yeah. ask if you put any like value, like sentimental value on like objects or anything. Cause I do that a lot. I don't know if it's like an empathy issue that I have with my brain or if I've been lobotomized Thanks. in my sleep, but a lot of the time I look at uh, plushies and like certain objects that like are personified in my life. And I'm like, I put way too much value on them. I have a lot of, I'll put like sentimental value on specific things that I have like memories tied to. Even if I don't have memories to something, they will be there. Like if like, <laughs> right now, I, I literally thought about this like a few days ago when mm. I, I was thinking like, oh, if my house burned down, what would I save first? My password book, my computer, all of mm. my plushies. And mm. while the plushies were the third, I put my plushies over like any other important shit like workout uh, or like um like uh, uh game consoles phones mm -hmm. um like anything else the plushies are like way above everything else yeah for me i think my stuff Definitely the computer, definitely my cat. And then I have stuff that I inherited from, because both the grandparents on both sides are all dead. Uh, so I have stuff that I inherited on both sides. So I would definitely bring uh, those things is what I would probably rescue in advent of an emergency or a fire, but everything else is replaceable. <laughs> I wish. Uh, the only thing I have from grandparents is like food recipes, which uh, is still yeah, nice, no, I've but got, like, like, I have them in my head. I have like silver dishware that my german grandparents had i have a copy of faust that's dated from the 1880s um i have a teacup from my my grandma on the other side i have yeah i have like a bunch of a bunch of stuff yeah i i would i would have loved stuff like that but i'm not in a position for that uh um, yeah I've got, God, I've got some dude. jewelry too from from both sides as well. I have like a, a cabochons and, and uh, oh gosh, what is it called when it's, it's one of the ones that's like one of the faces. But uh, thinking about like sentimental value and stuff like that, I feel like mm. a lot of, even with my lore, right? I put a lot of sentimental value into like inanimate objects and lore. And mm -hmm. I mean, that's one of the bases is behind the doll and like mm -hmm. the lore that I have with that is like the whole Pygmalion complex thing. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I was, I don't know, as soon as I learned about Pygmalion and I was just like thinking about it, I was like, holy shit. That's so me for real, for real. This is so me for real. <laughs> Putting more empathy and sentimental value into objects rather than people is fucking insane. <laughs> but it's also that thing with personification where we see these things and we put like person, we personify objects to make them more, I don't know, like human to us. It's crazy. Yeah. It's cool to think yeah. about. It is cool. Sometimes psychology is dope. Sometimes. Sometimes. Other times you're just like, huh, this like, explains what the things fuck far was too the well. Check test. Put that away. I like the ink blots. Look, he's a <laughs> butterfly. <laughs> you know, that would be a really cool VTuber model. A Rorschach model. That would be where cool. It could actually. be seen as different things from different angles. Mm -hmm. And there's no exact like face. Almost mm -hmm. like a biblical uh, biblical angel. Mm -hmm. If that could be pulled off by somebody who really knows, uh, like, like shapes and, uh, and like faces. That would be neat. Like shape theory stuff too. That mm -hmm. would be cool. Like it's a 3D model, but it can like spin. And it, when it talks, you can kind of see a face, like but it has a face everywhere. I don't know. That would make me think that like, have you seen the, like in the YouTube playlist of like, oh, uh, things that 
kids shows that shouldn't have been for kids and you have the the claymation one with the the with the devil there's a lot of those the one that says i am satan uh, i haven't seen that i was thinking more mr meaty no with like with the the, the mask i haven't seen I it i feel like that that kind of goes along the lines of what you would say the tom sawyer one yeah 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 the tom sawyer one i mean it could be I no, mean, Mark Twain, not Tom Sawyer. Yeah, Mark Twain, Mark Twain. Yeah. around about V2, unique VTuber models and stuff like yeah. that. Well, and I would like to say, preface, everything is subjective. Art in general is fucking subjective. So the I, even the idea of somebody saying unique VTuber model is ridiculous because most of the people that say that are trying to put down anime models, which is fucking ridiculous because the reason why anime models are popular is because the majority of people like them. So you saying unique is you just trying to be different because you have that fucking idea in your head that different is better, which is insane to me. Um, actually, only my life. opinion matters, Joel, and I say anime is <laughs> pog. <laughs> God, the amount of thing, people that I either lost respect for are muted because of these fucking uh, opinions. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, some of the ones I had to have a chat with, it was like, okay, you, it is possible to like things without putting other people down. That was the main. That was the main contributor That's behind the main it becoming away. a discourse. Yeah. Was people li saying trying to lift something up while putting something down as a way to lift the other thing up, which is fucking insane to do because we are yeah. adults. There's a better way than doing this shit. And the only time that kind of thing is okay is when it's in a very clearly comedic sense or in a context of you're on your own stream and like like I'll say stick yeah, to shit. Yeah, if you're if you're doing like a like, bit or something, right? Uh, yeah. But yeah, that was that's that's always the one of the annoying things. Like when people start tying it over to it's also people that don't watch VTubers at all. Yeah. So it's like, and then I see people trying to vie for their attention. It's like, guys, they don't watch VTubers in the first place. There's no point in vying for these people's attention. You, there yep. is a VTuber market that you can already tap into. Yep. Like, yep. just go for that. There's there's, no there's an analogy. There's an analogy that uh, Mom DM used for me when I was really frustrated at one time, um, and it was. Uh, this shit's busting. You could be you could be the <laughs> sweetest, best, most perfect peach, and there's still gonna be people that hate peaches. Yeah. So like, why are you trying to be like, hey, look, a peach pie, peach pie? The person's like, I hate peaches. Why? why like, why? Don't, I'm looking don't, for a no unique to... peach that doesn't taste like peaches at all. <laughs> Maybe you should You're look elsewhere. For a peach. <laughs> you don't want you a want. peach. That's the opposite of what you want. So yeah, cater to the peach lovers if you are a peach. Thank you. Don't don't go to the people like, hey, I know you love bananas and you hate peaches. God, and you have to deal with this a lot of the time too because every time you change a model, you get. A, oh yeah. This is so fucking freaky, bees. I don't get this at all, uh, and I don't yeah. see a lot of other people that get this besides you. I feel like you get this the most out of everyone, where you'll yep. change a model and somebody will immediately go, "What happened to the old model? What are we gonna do with the old model?" And you get that. Oh, it even happens today. It even it even happened today. I ignored them. You get that but... as much as I get the "Why are you a man?" thing. <laughs> yep, yep. I, I am the only one not allowed to change. Which is it's insane to me, because I never see that. Like I mean, obviously other VTubers get that too when they do a big yeah. change and they won't yeah. use their old models anymore. But you sometimes do. Like like you I still do use sometimes. other it's... models occasionally. It's not like they're dead. I do have them, but the, the other thing is I'm fairly spite motivated. So like I did used to swap things up a bit, but then when now more and more people were like complaining, I was just this. like, you know what? I don't want to swap because you, there's too many people that are a little bit too pissy about it. And I like to do what makes me happy. Which so. is <laughs> insane to me because it's like, I've never seen a fan base more than, uh, <laughs> Don't mess with the girl DM fans. We don't have object permanence. It's okay. Neither <laughs> right. is my chat. As soon as I leave, my chat thinks I don't exist anymore. Yeah, but it's, it's so sad. It's insane to me that it happens so much. Do you think there's a reason why you get that more than other people? I think so. There is a misconception. There's a misconception that a lot of people have that my model, my 3D model, had quote unquote the best, most advanced tracking when I got it. V Bridger. It's because you had V Bridger no, before a lot no, of people. No, no, not V Bridger. Right? It was no, 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 no. My 3D, my 3D model. Yeah, well, three, V Bridger is for 3D, isn't it? No. You can v Bridger use it for both, is can you? used for no, no. V Bridger was 2D only and came out long afterwards. I was using. Uh, 
I was using eye facial mocap mm. for mine because of the hands, maybe because of the hands, maybe because of other things. My model was not even the highest tracking one that was out at that point I in do time. Think, though, you had the most views with it. Probably. You were one of the but also it was more of a like more views with the facial tracking because I remember when you did that that started the whole like facial tracking race where people continuously yeah, tried it. to up themselves uh, with facial tracking. Well, the tracking. thing is, is I didn't even have the facial tracking before other people did. There were other people like Snuffy I, had no, her model from uh, from the same person prior to me, right? But it was maybe an algorithm thing. And there's people saying, well, to be fair, I could also like read the lips and everything. The other thing was the amount of really, really creepy comments and people that came in treating me more like a tech demo than a content person was the other thing because one of the other reasons why i was motivated to not use that model anymore was i had if you go back and look through like the older comments on things everything is wow her tracking so good wow her tracking so good wow her tracking so good what that mouth do wow her tracking so good so but i was having a bit of an identity crisis because it was that mouth do comment yeah but anything. i was having a bit of an identity crisis though because i would have people being like oh joel's like so funny and is having all these great guests like this person like this friend does this this friend does this this friend does this and then all of my comments are just wow you're tracking so good you're tracking so good and it's like i didn't make the tracking software i am puppeting it and i have no means to have anything further advancing this I so right? one of the the themes that I always get from you or I always get comments of whenever I do uh, anything like we do anything together we do a, a TikTok video whatever we're together the one yeah. that I get from you and the one that I see people mention is either being wholesome or being chaotic or being a like sick psychopath murderer I get that one a lot from you too people, there's people that call me chaotic but I don't think I fall into the chaos genre have you seen the fucking collab we did with Rose Doodle and you I lost well, that my was just me playing mind, off Rose. <laughs> that was two years ago. I still like, get my own streams <laughs> don't fall into the chaos realm there. I still have nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> every day. Every day I wake up in a cold sweat. Ah! Ah! I can't handle cat girls anymore. I literally cannot speak to green haired cat girls anymore because of this. Yippee! You have traumatized me. Long lasting trauma. Long I will never be forgotten. Trauma. But I think obviously you have a lot of th things, like you have a lot of traits that could be attributed to you more than just tech demo, obviously. Yeah, which was right, but at that time, that's not what I was getting at all. And that could, and and that so, could make you really want to change up. Because even the strongest person mentally will want to change up their own like mindset after seeing shit like that over and over again. Right? Especially, well, like, in oh, the am end. Am I doing something uninteresting? Am I doing something wrong? Well, the other thing is that there's no sense of like confidence or stability, right? Because if everyone's just like, oh, I love watching her tracking, that's not anything that I'm doing specifically right. and I have no control over it. So what if, if somebody gets better tracking, then what's my next step? Cat girl psychopath. <laughs> Cat girl psychopath. Cat there girl we are. We're here psychopath. now. Right? And then, like, the number of people that were just like, oh, you threw away oh. your tracking and everything is like comments like that. And it's just like, it's I am not a programmer. I don't about VTubers, too. Right? Like, they don't, like, they don't I didn't understand know. the tech side of it. Yeah, like, and I don't do any tech stuff. People would ask me, like, oh, what did you do to make your model move like that? And it's like, I didn't do anything. I am at the whims of all of the tracking the software I'm using. Like, is. yeah. But that's why I, one of the reasons why I made like the swap over to stuff uh, and wanted to do things that I was like, had put more thought into because my initial model, I didn't put thought into that. I wasn't intending on becoming a VTuber. Mm -hmm. It was just like, oh shoot, I want a model. Gotta slap some stuff together really quickly. You guys caused this. Yeah. You're the reason she's a psychopath now. The blood yeah. is on your hand. <laughs> Bring out the blood. The blood is on oh, your oh, oh, hang hands. On, hang on. I gotta get the, there we go. There you we go. did it's, this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those dead bodies, that's because of you and your tech psychopathy. <laughs> Maybe if you just took a fucking programming class or looked at the thousands of fucking how to VTube videos on YouTube, these people wouldn't be dead in the corner and I wouldn't have to clean up the dead bodies because that's like $150,000 every time mm -hmm. I need to get rid of a dead mm -hmm. body and I cannot afford this. I am mm -hmm. losing money. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. It's like, like the, the, the identity I stuff. I do not yep. have the mm -hmm. money to feed them. All they want is mm -hmm. chicken nuggets. Do you know what a 40 piece chicken uh, McNugget set for McDonald's is? That's In like this a economy, lot of money. That's so much. That's so much. I need to feed them. <laughs> Stop bothering her. Stop it. Who do you think cleans up the dead bodies after her? Definitely not me. I'm a little too lazy I'm for that. I'm the only reason she isn't in jail yet. I'm saving yeah. your lives. Mm -hmm. This is saving my, saving their lives by letting me run wild. Exactly. <laughs> well, I, I'm partial. I'm not doing that much work. All right, I, I don't get paid enough for that. Ah, uh, true. <laughs> I don't get paid enough for that. But I like her. Thank you, Son. We know that you like her. Do people really watch VTubers for just the model? Or um, yes. I've had people say, yes, there definitely are. I've had people actually come and comment on my stuff saying that, wow, I'm never watching you again because you here, swapped. Here I is was one such a example big fan. that I can also attest to that you need to yeah. understand, Chet. There are people that will only watch VTubers just, and this is vulgar, to get off. I the, oh, yeah. the reason why I get the why are you a man comments are because people don't care about the content they will watch nope. people just for sexual gratification so when they find out i'm a man they get annoyed because that's not something they want to you know get sexual gratification from which is even sadder and those yeah. are those are probably the same type of people maybe granted they may not have the same gratification it may not be sexual it may be you know some kind of weird knowledge thing mm -hmm. But it's the same type of people that will give her the, the fucking tech comments. There are people that yep. don't understand that VTubing is just a mascot for a streamer that already has the personality to bring them in. Yep. Which is, yep. it's ridiculous. It's not some fucking tech, uh, like, revolution. That's not what that is. Well, that's what weirded me out a ton with, like, the 3D tracking is I got, like, you would I get a lot of comments on this model being like, oh, mommy, ha ha, wow, she can step on me, ha ha. I was just like, okay, well, that's to be expected. But when I had my, the 3D tech wear model, You're some just a cute of little the guy. comments and the DMs that I got for a cute little guy persona that was PG... Like I upped it to PG-13 after I swapped to like 2D and stuff. I was getting messages from people that were not okay yeah. for my types of my type of like content and the type I was doing. So that's even further pushing me because there are people that are absolutely disgusting and would ask me questions about what all the 3D can capture. Yeah, basically, right. there are boundaries in the internet that a lot of people on the internet do not understand. understand and, at all. and they will push boundaries a lot of the time. So a lot of streamers do have to go through that kind of thing. Like, there, there is unending harassment no matter what as soon as you do anything on the internet. Uh, and especially if you are a VTuber, especially if you're a woman yeah. in general. Yeah. A lot of people, yeah, that's what Matt said. A lot of people came in and they're like, oh, you're a boy now? There are people that think I'm a boy. There are single that they, they look at this model and they think that I'm a man now. You know, I, I think <laughs> that's some of the normie audience coming in. Those are the people that are like, <laughs> Dragon Ball's the best anime. Like, uh, like, hang on, women hang on, just... are this in my mind and women cannot be anything else in my head. I just because I don't have the bigger anime eyes, guys, like. It's, uh, it's... <laughs> this is a man, by the way, apparently. <laughs> Dude, th there are people like I I'm not going to I'm not going to beat on somebody for the lack of knowledge here. Because no. uh, yes. like even like if you show a VTuber model to parents, sometimes they won't know gender either. But like the this is uh, like these are audiences that don't understand these kinds of things. So sometimes I'm a little lenient, but I will kind of thrash occasionally on people that do shit like that. Because a lot of the time See, you can tell when I, somebody's just doing it to be a jackass. Well, no, I understand when it's somebody that's like, when when it's their first time in like you see a first time chat and stuff like are you a dude then i'm like okay yeah fair enough right but i have people that are like oh so dm is a man now yeah like those are the people that are doing it to be jackasses either they're stupid or they're trying to get a rise right <laughs> it's it's insane and even if they were even if girl Deem did suddenly want to get a male model yeah it wouldn't... doesn't fucking matter again yeah, it wouldn't vtubing matter. is a mascot 
all right it's not yeah. the person themselves like you could have anything oh. gender really does not fucking matter when it comes to a mascot so it's yep. okay when a normal streamer has just like like this little little guy like maybe it's like this little chibi anime girl as their mascot because then it's a mascot but as soon as you're a fucking vtuber model then it's a fucking problem to some people then it's yep. like some kind of weird like agenda that people think it's not that big of a deal i am an artist and i was vtubing before all your fucking faves every single one of your oshis i was here before them i was doing vtubing before they even knew what fucking vtubing was just so you know so in that case i am the one who's going to be the authority on this right now just for you to learn this okay listen up it's not that fucking complicated dipshit <laughs> VTubing at the start was for artists to make their OCs into these movable mocap creatures that they yeah. could use for streams. The fact that I am a doll and the fact that the doll is a woman is because it was my OC when I was an artist and I was not going to come up with some other fucking persona to use on stream. It was never yeah. that complicated. There was never any agenda. And I guarantee you it's the same for other people. Don't overthink it. People can yeah. do whatever the fuck gender they want when making a fucking VTuber. Yeah. <laughs> now everyone thinks it's some kind of fucking slick thing that they're trying. Like, it's so dumb. And for anyone who also is like, well, I don't know if I can use this gender for my VTuber model. It literally does not fucking matter. It's, the it's... only people that are going to give you shit on that are the people you don't want as viewers in the first place. Yeah. It's dumb. Preach. Preach Be a VTuber it, with whatever you want, man. There are VTubers that are fucking... They're not even like a, a human being. They're like a fucking random like object. I've got a, I've got a friend that's just literally just like a, an eldritch entity and is yes. now getting a cowboy version. There's a so fucking I'm just like, sock yeah, puppet VTuber. There's yeah. a, a gorilla VTuber. There's a toaster. There's a frog. There's it doesn't frog. matter. There's, lot, there's multiple frogs. There there's, are many frogs, there actually. There's no... There, there's not nobody cares except for the like people that you don't give a shit if somebody cares about what gender your vtuber is you should not give a shit about what they care about yeah. like it does not matter that is one of the least important pins uh, like on the internet mm -hmm. oh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm gonna go on yep. a tirade you already did i oh, i'm <laughs> gonna go <laughs> you're, so, you're right you're right you're right Anyways, people are dumb. Uh, do, do, does your chat have a bingo sheet? I think I have a bingo sheet for we, my chat sometimes. You know? I think we did. I think the bingo uh -huh. sheet was, why are you a man? Uh, mm -hmm. Some kind of homophobic slur. Of course. Um, what else was there? Me ye yelling at somebody. Me but yelling at a VTuber happens. for not knowing how to do VTuber things. Uh, Monarch needs help. That would be Monarch on there. Monarch messaged me like 10 minutes after I started my stream like a couple days ago to tell me that all of her OBS settings hadn't saved and she was wondering <laughs> if I could help her. But I had I had Discord minimized so I didn't see it. Oh, Monarch. <laughs> but then like two hours later, it was like, never mind, I fixed it. And I was like, oh, I am so glad. I am so <laughs> sorry. I would have I would have paused my stream and oh, been like, my God. hey, girl, let me help you out. But From now on, whenever I'm going to get mad at Monarch, I'm going to call her by her name. I'm going to be like, Amanda! I'm just going to actually do the full name from now <laughs> on when it. I get mad at them. Do it. Just going to catch them off by surprise. Don't tell them I said that. Don't ruin the surprise. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't I'm going to do it randomly in a collab. Uh, Full legal name. Yeah, whenever I get mad at girl now, I'm just going to call her fucking DM. <laughs> I'm going to call her Luna or some shit. <laughs> the point is not to go on a tirade about how VTubing should be, but just do whatever the fuck you want. Nobody cares. Yeah. yeah. Nobody should care in the first place. <laughs> it's not a big deal in the first place. It's like, it's just, it's silly. Uh, it's silly. And especially yeah, with the, how this people treat girl DM and the shit. Right. It's it, well, like with this villainous one, I'm like extra determined because this model, this whole concept design and everything, this w I was working on this for a year before I debuted it. Yeah. Like. Been and there's a, long a lot time of thought, obviously, being put into it because it's a fucking cool model and it's a cool design. Yeah. You yeah. you set everything up. You did the lore videos. You did the fucking. Yep. Which, by the way, you've also been getting into music lately, which is really cool. Yeah, that was that was just because like spur of the moment nani was like 
you should sing this song. And I was like, okay, cool. I'll sing that song. And so I did. And now people are like, you should sing more things. And you have and the like, ability to do it because you can speak. You're bilingual. You know Japanese and English. And German. And German. You're trilingual. Sorry. My bad. Yeah. You're polygot. Yeah. Uh, and you are, you, I would say that you're pretty, like almost... I, I mean, I can't, obviously, I, I don't know Japanese, but I would say you're pretty, pretty fluent because I feel like you could have like pretty fluent conversations with people in Japanese. Yeah, conversational, definitely. Uh, I don't have any issues when I'm traveling in Japan. If I need to ask questions about like the menu or like making reservations, I can like call on the, the phone and, and get stuff handled and stuff. <laughs> and I feel like... Um... Now that you're doing covers, I'll be you, you can actually show that off more because a lot of I've noticed this recently because I started listening to music again, uh, which I mm -hmm. normally don't. Um, but I, I started noticing a lot of songs have like a mix of yes. like English and either Japanese or even Korean. Like there's English and Korean. I don't know why, but sometimes it just hits a little bit in my brain because the, yeah. they won't even like make sense. Because like, how do you think of making a song lyric where half of the sentence is in one language and the other half is another just so you can get it to fucking flow better i think it's it's pretty neat when it does that i have like i think bad apple doesn't really have that and lag train doesn't really have that but i have a plan for a song i already have and these are vocal another songs, cover right? already uh lag train vocaloid bad apples from toho okay and then so far, I've only done one Vocaloid song, which was Lag Train. Um, but I have another song that's going to hopefully should be coming out on Valentine's Day. Ooh, OK. Yeah, that's the next one is Secret, but it's it is a duet. Aw, let's go. Yeah, it'll, it'll be very it'll be very appropriate for the holiday. Uh, and then I have another song planned for after that one that's a cover, which the song has English and Japanese in it for flow, which is very fun. Um, but it's going to be a bit difficult for me to record that one that? because it's fast. Oh, yeah. Without, do you think you'll be able to nail it doing the um, switch between two languages or do you think there's going to be a delay in your brain when you're trying it probably not delay brain because it's 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 a song that since i'm already covering it i don't have to to produce it myself so it's not it's not too hard when it has a when it's part of the song yeah well how often do you use like japanese and german like on your day-to-day -day basis uh german is mostly with mom dm and usually it's just like like okay growing up in the dm household german was usually what mom dm and i used if we were needing to me communicate something that we didn't want dad dm to know yet so usually if it was like <laughs> presents up. or if we were like making plans with each other for girls day kind of thing um or or if i <laughs> That's, that's what that would be. Uh, so I usually use it with like with mom DM or when I am reading through family recipes because I do have Kochbücher, which are German cookbooks. So I need to be able to read through the cookbook and know what that is. As far as speaking goes, I don't really speak German on a day to day basis. So my speaking is not as good as my reading or my listening comprehension. Um, but for Japanese, I can still communicate fairly well conversationally for it. Would you say that you use Japanese a lot? Do you talk to a lot of people where you need to use Japanese? Uh, not too often because I've just been so busy with other things, but I do have, like, I do keep up now and again on studies on things or and i do consume like a lot of anime and such too which i can not 100 percent pay attention to what's happening on the screen sometimes like i don't need to read the subtitles all the time so i can hear what's being said and be like oh okay well that's crazy she would say that to him kind of thing right so how do you keep your studies up then like how do you keep being fluent in a language uh and not get rusty is it just the oh, anime? Oh, I'm rusty as all heck. <laughs> 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 but uh, so I went I went on a Japan trip last year in, Ap in April. Yeah. And usually when it comes to languages, when you're not using them, you still do retain the information. And when you are in a situation where you are surrounded by people using the language and you're like immersed in it, it comes back way more than you expect it to. So um, when I was on the 
crip like one of the things that wound up happening was we went and stayed at a onsen hotel a ryokan which is a traditional japanese hotel mm -hmm. we stayed at one that was like 600 years old uh very beautiful old building and traditionally with ryokan thank you Raiders. when you're having dinner hi when you have dinners uh the like the matriarch of the hotel brings you your food sometimes and explains how to eat it so i had this whole table of eight people and this little japanese grandma speaking in accented japanese because we were in nagano to me to explain to everybody how to eat the food and i was able to translate that to with no fair, issue, so it was no problem i feel like japanese uh dinner and breakfast at ryokan's are a little uh i don't want to say whack I almost said whack. I don't want to call them whack, but they are kind they, of a little bit. They're involved is what I would say. They're fairly involved. They're very involved and it feels yes. more like I'm having college. And so, okay, I'm going to say this in the nicest way possible. I think I'm sure the food is delicious and it's very culturally significant. But the problem is, is that me as a person, when I eat food, I need to have like a very specified meal or else it'll feel like I'm just eating snacks. So when I'm having a meal that consists of different plates of food, but no main dish, it feels like uh -huh. I, my brain does not think I am full and I need to keep, I'll keep eating snacks throughout the day. If there is no clear definitive main dish, I cannot finish it. That's why I don't think I would like Japanese ryokan food. It, mm, well, I think the the breakfast definitely is one. Oh, Amana! Oh, I gotta do the double raid intro now because we got two yeah, raids. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go. Do it, do it. All right, all right. Hold on. Wait. Pretend to be me. Get in front of me. Get in front of me. I'm gonna say oh, okay, the thing. Okay, 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 okay. Get in front. Get in front. Okay. <clears throat> I'm in front. I'm in front. I'm in front. Welcome to the stream, raiders. My name is Porcelain Mate. I used to be a sexy sack of man meat before I died, and my soul got trapped inside the body of a sexier female doll. I give you a curtsy out of courtesy because I'm elegant as fuck like that. And raiders, did you know that if you follow the stream, you can get out of the way for this one. Get out of the way for this one. And no. did you know that if you follow the stream, you can gain three extra inches to your dick? You're going to ruin your image. Get out of here. <laughs> did you know if you follow the stream, you can gain three extra inches to your dick size? That's right. Your dick can go from here to here. Enjoy the regular dick size. Big love to you. And thank you for coming on by. Hi, Raiders. Hi, Monarch fans. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Lily Monarch. fans. Monarch and Lily, thank you guys for the raids. Hope you oh. a good stream. Big love. Welcome on in. Hello. Big love, big love. Me and Girl DM are going on a porcelain parlor hangout right now. We're parloring. Mm -hmm. I changed mm -hmm. the name from date night. It's dead. There is no such thing as a date. I, they yeah, don't exist. We don't date. Dates, dates are broken. Dates They're real. unreal. I'm a VTuber. Yeah. There is nothing happening. Trust me. VTubers ain't got shit going on. Hey, Joel. Speaking, I mean, maybe speaking maybe, of, speak, for, for, speak for myself, I guess. Of, speaking of speaking of dates, though, Joel. Did you know I used to work at like a calendar printing factory? You did tell me this before. Yeah, you, yeah I got you I worked got on fired. calendars. Yeah, I got fired though. What'd you get fired for? I kept taking days off. Well, I mean, that's just natural. I feel like everyone needs <laughs> everyone needs a couple of days off once in a while. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They just, they just got mad when I did that to the whole calendar. I don't get it. <laughs> that's all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> got to turn into an anti-joke. You're not allowed to have it. Wait. <laughs> no jokes allowed. Do you know how to pronounce Gouda cheese? Oh, isn't this like the weird... It's the like Dutch pronunciation of Gouda. The Dutch pronunciation of Gouda. It's like. Uh, for the number of letters that it has, it's it's just like it's. it's Howda. Howda. How the cheese taste? Ha <laughs> ha! It's Gouda. It's Gouda. Yeah. <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, That's my terribly God. offensive. What a good a joke. <laughs> da, I don't know. Da, I think da, that was kind of cheesy. Content. Content. <laughs> Content. Well, we're actually doing a cheese thing soon. Me, yeah, you, and Monarch. Yeah, we are going to do a cheese thing. We're in going to be February. doing a charcuterie board stream. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and you, we're lactose intolerant. Monarch is the only mm -hmm. one that isn't lactose intolerant. We're, we're going, going to, to be eating cheese together and probably talking about manhwa. 
uh, villainous mm -hmm. bullshit, stuff like that. It's going to mm -hmm. be another just chatting stream, but we just have eat, mm -hmm. we, cheese, we eat cheese at the we're same time. We're going to eat cheese while we're just chatting. It's going to be just cheese. I'm not getting lactate. I'm just going to suffer through it. Me neither. I'm just going to suffer through it. I'm, I'm just gonna, simply going to tolerate it. I'm going to make it. an offering to the porcelain throne afterwards. Not Joel's, though. You know, the thunder bucket. I don't come to your house and use a cat as a fucking toilet wipe, okay? I like yeah. You I, could if you want to. I won't I'm get mad. I'm not using whiskey to wipe my ass. <laughs> I don't come. In, the point is, I don't go to, over to your house and start treating your objects as if they were some kind of fucking toilet. You don't need to come you to my eat. house to do the same thing. <laughs> this is why she turned into a fucking villain. Look at her. She can't have a normal conversation with somebody. Nope. Without mm -hmm. immediately going into psychopathy. Look at her. Mm -hmm. I'm crazy. Are you taller now? No. Are you still like five five? Five two. You're still Except five I have, two. I have heels. I have heels, so I I'm like. Wait, match the head. Match the head. The, the head size doesn't match because you're you were drawn in a different doesn't proportion. Doesn't matter. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Stop. Stop right there. Okay. Now get uh I'm wait, no I'm, it's still good. Your head's too big. No, no I'm matching I'm matching there we go. <laughs> what the fuck? Here hang on. You are you are not 52. I'm 52. I am 65. No, I'm 52. Wait, hold on. <laughs> hey, hey, power pose again. <laughs> This is, we're the same fucking height. You are not 5'2". Yeah, five but two. I'm 5'2". I'm 5'2". No, you're tall. No, no, I'm 5'2". I don't care about the art style difference. This doesn't work. They're 5'2". Five two. Five this, two. Five this is not an art style difference. I've got like Sailor Moon proportions, okay? I'm 5'2". You either that or you have very high heels. That too. I'm going to cut your I'm heels off. Okay. I'm going to saw off the ends of your shoes while you're sleeping. Yippee! Why are you yippeeing over that? Wait, hang on a sec, Joel. Stay there. Okay. I'm gonna give you some extra support. Okay. <laughs> get, get away from me. <laughs> You're breaking your own continuity. You can't do that. That's not allowed. Just because it's my stream doesn't mean it's suddenly okay. Get over I here. I was being a supportive friend. Get I can't over believe to Joel the, Go to the other side. Go to the other side. I'm sick of you. Wow, this is why, like, you can't be supportive to your friends anymore. I can't that's believe that. That's not support! <laughs> that's harassment, girl DM! I'm gonna write you up! You just wait until I figure out who's the HR manager for VTubers. I don't think that exists. That, 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 it does somewhere. One of these VTubers actually, is HR actually, for us. Actually, maybe, maybe it's Shindigs. I doubt it's Shindigs. <laughs> Shindigs is too busy looking at funny VTubers to fucking pay attention yeah, to everyone yeah, else. That sounds like he's HR then. He's not HR, he's like advertising. And HR. Have you seen the amount of promotion he's given to Taijiro? I have, but that's a really impressive stream. I love that stream. I'm so interested mm -hmm. in that stream. Mm -hmm. Who else? Who's VTuber HR? What VTuber would be good HR? Me. No. Why not? What's Clearly, wrong with me? from Why your can't previous actions that we just saw, you are not allowed to be HR. Well, I think if we attribute like office romance manga, I think I fit the bill then. Office romance is not, that is not, that was not, uh, one, we're not in an office. Two, there's no romance. Three, what no, part I'm of saying that, that was like, romanceable? The, the, the HR manager isn't like the romance target. I'm not the main character. I'm just saying that I'm in in within the realm of like a, a office romance comic series that I could definitely be the HR manager. You are so literally therefore... a fancy villain from a manhwa. <laughs> what part of this is going into the fucking office? What office do you work in? The fucking Demon Kings? Yeah. None of what you're doing Demon is King. office behavior. Wait, well, I, I, no, wait, wait. Uh-huh. I have a button up shirt with a collar. And a cravat. DM, I hate to break it to you, but a button-up shirt does not qualify you for anything besides no, fashionability. 
A bought up shirt is not getting you into a fucking like a fancy place. The you most you're bet? getting into is if you wear actually, a fucking reflective um, vest and go to a concert. Um, actually, Don't, a fancy um, button-up shirt me. is required for most formal dining. Most of them are business casual. And a button-up button shirt falls within that. the realm of that. Okay, does this look like fine dining? Because the... <laughs> wow. I mean, I, I am I a little bit. I am quite a little a bit of a. I am a little bit of a high class meal, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit of a snack. Not gonna uh, say. You know, this porcelain could be used for serving a high class food. This is fancy enough as dinnerware. Mhm. Mm All right, I'll let you slide with that one. Nice. You buttered me up. I got you. You're fine, fine, fine. You get one slide. You get Yay! one slide. I did it. That's, Wait, you that's have a slide? It. Yeah, see those stairs over oh, there? Can you? No. So what no, you do Joel, is you get Joel, at the top Joel, of them Joel, and you just throw Joel, yourself Joel, off. Joel, Joel, what? Joel, listen to me. Just, I, I have an idea. Okay. Okay, okay. So, Joel, for, for April Fools. Yeah. You should, you should get a, an animation commissioned that you can just like hit a toggle and it makes it so that the, the stairs turn into a slide in the background. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> Wheelchair and then, accessibility! Yeah! And then you can send chat down the slide. I feel like they're gonna <laughs> crash their head in the boulder that's directly at the end of the slide. Do you not that's see problem, the rock placement in my house? Move yeah, to the but side. they're in a cage. Look at the it. cage. Yes. Look at my rock. Look at my boulder. That's a nice boulder. That's instantly bashing their head into the fucking rock. They're in the cage. It's not their head is protected. It's a safety cage. Listen, I guarantee you if the cage gets like dented, they're going to be more mad about that than if they got a lobotomy. They say live, laugh, boulder. Who says that? And the mod. fucking Gorons from Zelda? Who says, who says live, laugh, boulder? Your mods. Well, I would say earthbenders most likely. And then your mods. Why'd you say your mods as if it was a your mom joke? Is this a new streamer <laughs> diss? No. Yeah, you know who else likes me? Your mods! <laughs> Is that so stupid that sounds? Don't hate them. Don't, don't talk to my mods. Stop that. I'm a mod. Don't interact with them. I'm a mod. <laughs> don't interact with my mods. I'm a lot to my Oh, look at hi. hi. No, don't speak to them. <laughs> hey, stop talking to that. Stop talking to her. It's rough out here. Kiyosh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this, this is bullshit. No, Those this are... is streaming. No, <laughs> no, this is girl DM. No, this is girl DM. Hello. No, uh, no hi. Whiskey's on my desk still. He's he's curled up. He's like laying on my He's been here since the start tablet. of the stream. He has been, but he just changed his position, so now he's like curled up on my tablet. Don't make me jealous. I already want a cat. He's really cute and soft. Uh... You know what? Uh... Hang on a sec. One day I'll get a cat. One of these days. Annie messaged me actually asking about my cat because she was like, I'm kind of, I, I really love your cat and I want one just like him. So I was just like, she was like, what kind of cat do you have? So I've been waiting. I've been waiting to get knowledge and for my house to be cat renovated. Mm. I'm waiting for that. And then I'm going to adopt a cat and it's going to be named chat. And I'm going to love him very much or uh -huh. her. And it's going to be my favorite. Oh, and then you get to say stuff like, no chat, don't eat your own poop. Yeah. Chat, I mean, I already there. have to say that with my chat. I mean, chat, the, the, did you fart on me? There's a reason why they're in a cage. Chat, what's in your mouth? Chat, what's in your mouth? Hey, hey, spit that out. Spit that out. Don't make me go in there and get that. Spit that out right now. Meanwhile, I get to sound that like an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, my, whiskey? My, community, my community voted for his name to be Whiskey. And so now I have to be like, well, you, you have two whiskey? names, right? You have Whiskey and no, then. No, his name's Whiskey. His name's Whiskey. Oh, okay. Yeah. Name Who is that that has the fucking two names for their cat? Somebody talked about this know. on stream. I was in a collab I I recently. I call him an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I call him an idiot. I, I called him some other words too that are degrading, but I won't say here because it'll ruin my well, image. No, to be fair. But I love him. I feel like a lot of things could ruin your image easily, like before. <laughs> there was a reason why I was trying to call HR on you. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, um. Mm -hmm. Fuck, I was gonna say something. When I talk to animals, 
I also mm -hmm. call like I'm very derogatory to, towards them. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. he's a stupid little bastard. You are, you are. You don't understand what I'm saying. You don't have the knowledge of what's happening right now, do you? You're so Not dumb. A single You're so in stupid. Your I could squeeze your brain right now, and nothing would happen. I love exactly. you. I love you so much. Exactly. Exactly. Look at you. Yes. I do that all the time. I'm so mean to like animals, but like in a loving way. Cause I'll see a fat cat and I'm like, look at you, you chonky bastard. You fat motherfucker. I'm so mean to animals. Can I just get a clip of Joel? Just that part, no, not the I'm, clarification I'm, I'm, afterwards. I'm very, I'm very like derogatory towards animals in a loving way. Cause I'm just like, I don't, cause cuteness aggression, right? This is the yeah, only yeah. way I'm allowed to have cuteness aggression towards something without people fighting back against me. Cause if I, if I have a friend that's really cute and I call them a stupid bastard while I'm like, you're yep. so cute, you dumbass, you stupid little fucking freak. Yep. Somebody's yep. gonna get mad at me. But if I do yep. it towards an animal, who's gonna get mad no, at me? It is a stupid animal, little fucking freak. It. Cause they're a dumbass. They don't have brains, those stupid little ignoramuses. My so mom DM has a nickname. So we have our family dog, right? Family dog's mm -hmm. name is Shasta. Mm -hmm. She's not generally called Shasta at home though, because mom DM has a different name for her, which is uh, SDD. 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 Why does this feel like I'm on Xbox Live and, uh, and someone's trying to make me say a slur? What, what, is, what no, does this it's mean? Stupid dumb dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is what. It's your mom, mom Eustace DM. from Courage the Cowardly Dog? What the fuck? Nope, that's what she, she's just like. She'll either say the full name out when she's like messaging me, telling me what Chasta did that day. She's like, oh, the STD like got into this food or whatever. Ate an entire. <laughs> got into the bag of dog food. My and solid ate, like, disc drive of a dog. <laughs> Yep. My S dog. My <laughs> that stupid, stupid dog. mutt. <laughs> Affectionate. 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 Affectionately stupid dog. It's okay. I act that way towards Chad sometimes. My stupid <laughs> little bastards, but they're so cute. <laughs> they're such dumb little fucking idiots. They're such stupid little bastards, but I love them. Look at them. Look at them sitting. Look at them. Look at, Look them. at them sit there. They're so dumb. They're so stupid. They have no brains. They have no brains. Look at them. Aww. And then you shake the cage and they start screaming in fear and shitting mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, it's rough taking care of chats. You know, as a streamer, it's almost like being a full time parent sometimes. I don't yes. know if you have the same thing. I don't know if you do the same. You have the same problems. Um, every yeah, what, now and what, again, I, well, I've, I've had a new insult recently for them. Okay. Usually for randoms that, that come in. Um, and that's saying that my frying pan is smarter than them. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, okay. What about your relationship with your regulars? Cause every streamer has a different relationship with their chat. My chat calls um, me dad banish, and I'm kind of like, banish an, them to the void, uh, cam cannibalism. Uh, cannibalism, I know. I know yeah, you like cannibalism. Yeah. We Can just I usually say, like, the yes. amount of problems that I have with other streamers always stems from Girl DM's chatters calling with the what? fucking mayonnaise. If I hear another mayo joke from you chatters, I swear to God, I will, I'm going to fucking take it up with the HR. What? What? What mayo joke? I, I don't make any it jokes with with mayonnaise. Her. I don't make any jokes. Manny's is a very it's serious matter. It's always manner. the girl DM viewers. It's always the fucking girl DM viewers that come in and they're like, you're the Mayo guy, right? No, no, I'm not. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, you're, he's full of mayonnaise. That's why he has the crack in his face. It's for, for filling. You know, like you go to the, 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 it's like, it's like a gasoline stand, but it's with mayonnaise and, and you just like fill her up, you know? I'm gonna take a jar of mayonnaise and I'm just gonna throw uh -huh. it at you. Like I'm gonna <laughs> nice. unscrew the lid and I'm just gonna chuck mayonnaise at you. Nice. Every time the you make a mayo joke. The freebies. What do you mean freebies? I'm throwing fat and oil at your face. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> you are not excited about that. I am, it's free mayo. I guarantee you if I threw mayonnaise at you, you would not be happy. For free? I'm going to get mayonnaise and I'm going to throw it at you. Okay. 
for every single chatter that like comes at me with the mayonnaise joke i'm actually gonna get a packet of mayonnaise and i'm gonna as soon the next time i see you and you try to hug me i'm gonna have like a i'm gonna lace like mayo packets on my arms okay. so it just fucking splatters everywhere okay I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick of her. I'm sick of her. Okay. She's a psychopath. She doesn't. She has no emotions for plushies. She is a. She's a sicko that murders for fun. She loves mayonnaise. Uh -huh. She's a sicko. You're. You're a sicko. You're a freak. You're a fucking freak. Mayonnaise is good. It's delicious. I do like Cupy Mayo. Yeah, Cupy Mayo is pretty bomb. American mayonnaise is fucking disgusting and vile, though. I literally cannot have American mayonnaise because it makes me gag. I just think you haven't had enough. That's not how that works. Having more does not stop the gagging. I if think if just... somebody is choking on their meal, you do not feed them more food to get rid of the choking. Well, maybe that you is don't, not how... but I'm trying to get an insurance settlement. That's, that's what I'm saying. You're not saving anybody but yourself. That's saving someone. The only thing you're getting is money. So, girl, have you or have you not sat down and eaten mayo straight out of the jar? You're a freak. <laughs> I did. I did. I had an expired mayonnaise before. You shouldn't have that. That's not good for you. You were there. You saw me. I, I told you that I had it. It was a yeah. subathon goal. It was it, eat a spoonful of mayonnaise. And the only mayonnaise I had right. was apparently expired by a year. Yeah, but that just makes like it ages the flavors. It's like cheese. I still had it though. <laughs> I immediately spat it out. My mouth was like burning. <laughs> You're so real for that. I did it either way. It you was disgusting it. and I could have died, but still. That was, <laughs> that was definitely dangerous. Do not e expire mayonnaise, just so you know, Chad. It's probably a bad idea. Probably. Mm, I don't know. She probably would still have it. Botulism. I mean, we're talking about somebody that supports lobotomies, so I mean, it might as well. No, I don't support them. I just can. I was looking uh -huh. up how to do them. That sounds a lot like supporting if you're learning the knowledge on how to fucking do it. No, like, what like, other, okay. Why so, would you need to know how to perform a lobotomy if you weren't going to do a lobotomy? Your curiosity, your curiosity does not reach far enough to be able to learn how to actually commit a uh, fucking Wait, lobotomy. No, yes it does. Yes it does. Okay, here, take another example. Okay. I watch plenty of videos on how to cook steak and how to do like dry aging steaks and stuff, and I have no intent ever to make those because I have no interest in eating steak. It's just nice to know. I feel like it's not on the same. Cooking a steak is not the same level of knowledge as performing a lobotomy. <laughs> meat i don't see the difference that is not no that is not the same <laughs> level of knowledge me you learning how to fish, no no you no can... no me <laughs> learning how to lobotomize somebody and me learning how to cook a steak are completely different things google what, foods what? is no fucking medieval european doctor yet yeah. what if he gets isekai google foods getting isekai is he's not gonna be able to do shit because that man only sous vide everything no, he knows how to like cook standard steaks too. He's done that before. He he even has like with the the charcoal briquettes and everything that are made from. Where like... is he gonna get any of that in a fancy setting? Does he know how to make it himself? You can cook steak on a hot rock. He's not gonna like it though. Well, he's gonna think it not, doesn't have he'll as be much able flavor. To survive. He's gonna no. Don't worry. He'll just uh. He's gonna dry age it in in like okay. tree sap well, or something. Let's let, let's be reasonable here, right? What the fuck is the difference between somebody in the uh, 18th century cooking steak versus today? It's the same shit. It's just a slab of meat that's being cooked over a, a fire. What's the wh what has what has changed? I guarantee you, Guga is not going to be any better than the fucking medieval chefs when it comes to at least steak. Anything else, sure. The only thing that's changed yeah. is maybe seasoning, but back in, most steak purists are just saying salt, pepper, and maybe garlic at anyways. It's yeah, not that if, different. What if he gets isekai to like... 
where uh-huh. they don't have steak. Like what you're 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 thinking like what do you time mean travel when they back don't in the have past. Steak? Well, you're thinking time travel into the past. What if he gets like isekai to a fantasy world and uh-huh. discovers like a cow like meat monster, you know? And they and he introduces them to steak because they're kind of like the the people on the start so of dungeon mission like Ew, you can't eat the monsters. The people have never had any meat before because the most obvious thing a human would do in yeah. any human history is eat the first thing they see. They found a new animal. Let's see if we can eat it. You're telling me that these humans in this fancy universe would see an animal and not eat it? That's fucking ridiculous and against yeah, human yeah, nature. Yeah, fantasy world. No meat world. Yes. Against no, human nature. No. Yeah, because they wouldn't be humans. Like, what a if he gets human would and he's the only human? Eat anything they see. What if he's the we only would human? See an what alien if he's the only human? And our first thought would be, can we have to, sex to, with it or can we eat it? What if he gets isekai to elf world and he's the only human? He would try to eat the elf. Well, the elves look like people, so I don't think he would do that because I don't think Guga is well, like. Clearly, you're ca- saying that they're not people because their first reaction to seeing a f- like a monster is not to eat it. Well, yeah, because they're elves. Because they, they, the elves generally aren't like meat eater ones, you know. No, hey, that's fucking stereotypical. That's the stereotype, and that's probably uh, elves would be offended if you heard the, if they heard you say that. Elves don't have to be fucking vegetarians. Nane, would you eat steak? She hasn't. I made her vegan right there, steak. Right there. Nane. I made meat. Nane vegan steak. Meat. Yes or no, no Nane. See? No. See? No. No. Don't agree with just because you like Girl DM. Be real. Be Yee! honest. I love You're only Nane. agreeing Miss with Nane, her because I you like Girl her. DM. I'm vegetarian. Yeah. Bullshit. She is vegetarian. Shit. You jerk. I will DM a fucking <laughs> elf right now. I will DM an elf in my DMs right now. <laughs> I will get an elf right now and I will discuss with them. Well, I mean, they're, that's kind of rude to do, though, because, like, Christmas just ended, so they're on their like their month long holiday before they're back into the workshop. Don't so that's kind of rude of you to. Don't you fucking start with me. Where's Giga? Giga eats meat. Elf. Have you seen her ears? Basically the same shit. She's got the knife that's, ears. You're the one being like, oh, that's stereotypes. That's so rude. That's a stereotype. No, uh, she doesn't got, have rights. It's fine. Got... <laughs> if it's against her, I can say whatever I want. He's a misogynist. <laughs> <laughs> I hate women. Only Giga's one. Giga's a though. vampire? Question mark. I'm not misogynist. I'm misogyn. I only hate one woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's even worse when I'm the only one laughing. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Wah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck, dude. I'm just yeah. saying that I feel like most is like like sentient species, when it comes to new things, they immediately would either try to eat it or have sex with it. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out there. Eat would be the first one. I just feel like... That's aliens. Wrong. Imagine if aliens were a thing. What would be the first thing that people would try to do with aliens? Depends on eat them or riz them up. Am I, I wrong? don't know. I think the first step would be kill them. No. No, no, no. Not now, not 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 in today's day and age. Maybe before. Now we have the internet and it's changed everyone's like fucking psychology. Immediately, kill uh, is no, the third I think, option. I still think it's kill, or kill and is dissect. Kill the second option. So I think no, it's no, no, kill no. and dissect before riz, eating. Riz and then eat. It kill and then eating. Because you have to kill them to eat them. I think riz well, is no, first. Well, no, they could still be. What? What if they're riz aliens that have like? No, I don't yep. think so. I think yep. it would be no. Chat, no, no, no. Would you no, fucking no, no, alien no, because... or would you kill them? I think it's no, no, kill. No. Let the people speak. Let the people speak. Easy. See? No, because you're Win. not letting dub, me explain. Dub. You're not letting me explain my, my logic. It because I already know what the truth is, girl DM. Okay. For xenomorph. Yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking xenomorphs. Are you kidding me? Do you know how many people would try, would try to rizz well, up a xenomorph? I know, I know, but like an actual xenomorph, actual, actual xenomorph is not going to afford them You think they wouldn't the try time. their chances? I mean, they would be dead instantly. But, but they but would still here, try. Listen, listen. Listen. Okay, I'm listening. First, you kill. Okay. Then you dissect. 
and then you figure out what the next step is. I think you're taking, do you think like as you're dissecting it, you're taking little snacks, like little bites? Like, I mean, oh, the some liver, people not might. bad. I think this is yeah. the liver. I don't really know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what organ this is, but it tastes, it smacks, bro. This, this, this shit smacks. tastes good. And, well, because you need to do some, like, some proper analysis first, because otherwise, like, imagine getting alien food poisoning. It's probably I 10 times no worse than regular this food poisoning. what organ is, but this would smack on a burger. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. So you have to like do the analysis first before you determine like it's edible, right? Because otherwise, like if you're gonna start like to death, then sure, board. I think you're just gonna eat. exactly. You have exactly. to dissect the alien on bits. the board, and you're mm -hmm. just taking little uh, little smacks at it. Mm -hmm. In the future, everybody's gonna be having alien charcuterie boards. You know, little nibble. You, you have know? your friends come over, so you can all try the different parts of the alien. You know. Yeah, that's why they called it a sloppy Joe. Mm -hmm. That was the original charcuterie board. They took Joe and they went fucking crazy on him. Yep. It's always Stop. silent laughter. It's always whenever I do the really high, like low pitched uh, laughter that you can barely hear is when I hear you start breaking out a character. <laughs> I just start hearing like the very, very high squeaky sounds and I, I'm just like. It's because as soon as you hear, like, I feel like you're very good at not breaking character until somebody laughs. As soon as somebody it, laughs, it's all over. Well, because I feel bad if you're the only one laughing because I definitely don't have to laugh. Are you saying it's the anxiety making you laugh? <laughs> No, it's just me feeling like because it's always bad when you tell a joke and nobody else laughs unless you're going for like the cringe, nobody laughing oh, at the joke. Oh, you're one of those of people. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So then I'll what sympathetic laugh. What does one Joel say to another Joel? What? Want to hear a joke? Hey, Joel. <laughs> hey, Joel. Oh, my God. Sorry, hey, I couldn't hear you. I went to another plane of existence to fucking get the laughter out. Hey, Joel. What's up? Two elephants fell off a cliff. Boom, boom. When does the jolt come in? Your chat's laughing. What does the Joel, like, wh where does Joel have to do it? Does he get hit by the elephants? Was it because there's two elephants and there's two Joels? Was it as Probably. soon as I, they said, want to hear a joke and the elephants just went fucking smack? Yeah, Immediately as heard, it happened? They heard that and they just decided that they were done. Finished <laughs> with this mortal plane. With this sacrifice, I will stop this joke from going further. <laughs> No, there's two of them. That's why it's boom, boom. Wait, if they both fall off at the same time, the boom would be at the same impact. No, depends on which one's like Was the one velocity. Was one elephant delayed? Yeah. Ping spike. What do you mean ping spike? We're not playing on a fucking server. We're VTubers. Everything's virtual. That's not how that works. I'm live. Yeah, this is, is a real area. This mansion is <laughs> real. That chat's real. I'm real. I'm made oh, out of starts, porcelain. He thinks everything's real again, guys. What do you mean? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's not like there's nothing in front of the camera and we're looking into the black void. Uh-oh. Everything's real. I could go to my room right now. Here, follow me. Come here. Okay. We could literally I'm, go to my room. I'm not actually moving. We're just we're just lighting off of a monitor. You're right literally now. moving. What are you talking about? See, okay, we yeah, came here. Right. Why are you staying oh, in the hallway? Uh, We're right here. I, well, you didn't invite me in. You know, there's rules to these things. We're, see what I mean? We're, li we're, we're not sliding. We're walking. That's why we're bouncing up and down. I'm not delusional. Uh, why do you think uh, when you move, you walk up and down like this? We're moving. Hey, we're Joel. walking. Hey, Joel. How come when you move, you're not reflected in the mirror back there? Because that deck, that mirror is pointed upwards. It can't see me. Okay. You see how it's reflecting you, the, the, the edge of the you, bed, or the top of the bed? Can you go Can you go back over there right now and tilt the mirror? Well, no, because it's in place. I don't see what you're getting at here, girl DM. I feel like... Have you, have you done the Escape from the Yandere Girlfriend game? 
DDLC? No. The one when you have, like, the Yandere girlfriend and you have to, like, type to convince her to give you the keys to get out of the apartment. Girl, I already have bitches. I have chat. I do not need to play fake visual novels to simulate having a girlfriend. It's not a visual novel. But That's the, the, the girl, one. Please, Yeah, that please. one. You have to have it. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Chat is your yonder girlfriend. You know what? That's that's probably actually true. <laughs> I'm more parasocial to them than they are to me. I know. We were at TwitchCon and Joel's like, I miss my chat. Look, they're my phone <laughs> Don't background. Don't expose me. <laughs> you didn't need to do that. <laughs> that was unnecessary. And then right after that, he said, Don't tell them I said that. That was an unnecessary exposure. What the fuck? What? We moved over to this room. I thought that we were going to have like heart sharing conversations is that what people do in the bedroom <laughs> i don't know <laughs> you're right vtubers wouldn't know that <laughs> no it's like, it's like what it's either usually it's murder that happens here like i read the villainous series usually there's murder that happens don't look under the bed stop stop what? 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 I was, I was just, I was, I want to, I there's just nothing to... under the bed. There's no reason to look okay. under there. Okay. 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 Well, I won't look. I won't look. It's, I won't uh, look. It, it, there's, there's nothing. For... Stop. No, I'm not looking at my, oh, wow. Look at these, the there wallpaper. There's nothing in this the room wallpaper. that is suspicious. Nothing at all. Hey, look at that cute chat picture in the background. Oh, yeah. Look yeah. At what that a one. cute. Wow, look at those pictures. They're so cute. Right? Aren't they adorable? Look at them in the background. Yeah, yeah, they're so cute. Oh my god. Yeah, where am, I, where am I looking? Where am I looking? To the right. Right oh, behind oh, the cage. The... Oh, okay. Oh, it's behind the cage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the look at them. Really... They want uppies. Aren't they cute? I love them. I actually put their. I, I put their. Uh, pic... What are you doing? No, nothing, nothing. I'm not, I'm not, I don't do anything. I don't, I, I just, I just want to, like, look at this floor. It's just like, what, what is this? What kind of flooring do you have? Well, it's really a unique situation. I just kind of inherited it when I came into this place. I'll be honest, most of the shit in this room and around the mansion are not mine. I just kind of fucking took them when I came here. Mm hmm. Like, Fair I enough. got reincarnate. Anyways, like I was saying, I actually put chats, uh, like, I have a bunch of chats drawings, and I like to put them on the fridge sometimes because they're so cute. They do a great job you with it. You have a fridge? Yeah, I have a kitchen. You eat? Do you want to see the kitchen? Yeah, I want to see the kitchen. All right, come this way. Okay, okay, come on, come, come on. Yeah, I have a kitchen, and it's like, it's honestly not that bad. Like, I've been super into it. Okay. Isn't it nice? <laughs> Look at how clean it is. This is the one place that I refurbished because, you know, I need to cook. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, I, I, the uh, natural I'm... lighting is really good. Guys, did you know that Joel has a portal to Ikea? What do you mean, Ikea? What part of this looks like Ikea? Uh, probably the, the do you see Swedish that meatballs I can't pronounce. Anywhere? Well, yeah, they're in the fridge. No, this is just a nice kitchen. I got it refurbished. There's Blush. no blahage. Blush. Uh, besides the kitchen, if you come this way too, like okay, I have a okay. lot of rooms in my house. Okay, it's not okay, just the see, kitchen. Okay, okay. How many rooms do you have? Uh, quite a few actually. You'd be surprised. It's like genuinely pretty good. Okay, okay. Like if we go over here. Mm hmm It's like genuinely, it's pretty fucking good. I mean, I've been saying this for a while. Like if we just kind of peek over the corner over here. You know, if we just look over here, isn't uh -huh. it nice? It's pretty good, it's... isn't it? This is the bathroom. It's a little old style, but it's not bad. That's a bathroom? Yeah. What do you mean that's a bathroom? Can you move over a little bit? Yeah. Why do you have pots and pans in the bathroom? I don't see why this is a necessary question, okay? I. It's not like the plumbing works all the time. I'm living in the middle of uh, but fuck nowhere, girl DM. Okay? Why, There's no reason for you, you to be judgmental. A come on, come on. Okay, 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 let's okay. go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I don't need to hear you question this anymore. I just, I feel like maybe a wine bottle in the bathroom isn't standard. I mean, like, maybe me, but I, like. Are you trying to fucking judge me for my mental issues? I'm not judging you. I never sometimes judge anybody it's, uh, ever. Listen, it's just a lot of, it's a lot of work sometimes. Yeah, 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 definitely. If we come out here. Okay, okay. 
Oh, we got I'm... the uh, we got the back alleyway. Okay. okay. Which doesn't really of... make sense. We're in the middle of, of a town, but like I live in the yeah. middle of the woods. Uh, oh, hang on a sec. What's up? Oh, nothing. Don't worry. I saw something. It's gone though. Okay. I don't know what I saw. It's just. <laughs> yeah, no worries. No worries. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Sometimes nature calls, and we gotta go right away. I'm not gonna judge mm -hmm. you for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just will say I, you should I, probably I get something, something checked out because I, I don't know if the splashback went really crazy, but there's some stuff on your face, and now that's kind of gross. Oh, shoot. Hang, hang on a second. I'm just going to hang on. I'm just going to. Yeah. Okay. Is there is there anything left? Uh, Come closer. A little bit. Uh, okay, okay. I'm telling you, you really got to see a doctor. God. I don't know why it's red. It, well, no, the problem is it's just like. There, there was a lot of blood and like blood. I'm trying to find a clean piece of it. No, sorry, jam. I'm just trying to find a, like a jam. Piece I thought of, you like, went to the clean. bathroom. Uh, no, no, don't worry. Like you, you had food in the bathroom. I was just running back in there. Well, you didn't need to Why say that out so loud. Why is it so hard to find a piece of cloth that is not drenched in blood over here? Do you want me to? I can rip off one of my skirt. Like yeah, it's already ripped you please, up. Yeah, could extra. you please? Could you please? Like here. I. Yeah, please, please, please. Take it. Take part of it. Thank you. You good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, okay. I have Sorry like 40 that. of these dresses, but they all have the same rip in them. It's really crazy. Oh, like wow, literally, all like... of my wardrobe has the exact same rip. I will be honest. Huh. I kind, I think mm -hmm. I like I did it myself just so I could keep my brand identity. Yeah, I feel like know, if I didn't show the ball joints, you know, it would, it would like yeah, what what's gonna show me off as a doll? Yeah, yeah. If you come this way again. Oh, okay, okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. God, there's a lot of walking in this place. How, do you do you walk this much every day? Uh, it's a big mansion. If you come over here, we actually have the okay. skyline. Don't ask me how the mansion connects to everything here. Like it's, I, I don't know how this connects that much. How many floors did you say your house was? A lot. Uh, I didn't. If we keep going though, there's even more. Okay, okay, all right. It really does just get crazier and crazier and I'm not 100% sure why it happens. All right. Well, this is this is just like wow. This is a uh, the, 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 this is a what what other rooms do you have? Um, well, if you come over here, okay. I think I can show. Where is it? Where is it? Give yeah, me a company over often. There's like come a lot of chairs here. Okay, I'm coming. It gets just crazier and crazier, honestly. Oh yeah. And uh, I'm not 100 percent sure why. If you come over here. Okay. Who's that? Oh, uh, he's the manager. You can ignore him. He really doesn't say much. Oh. Uh, Chat wants McDonald's a lot, so I have like a highway immediately towards there. It's honestly not that far of a walk. We can get there pretty quickly. Hey, you know what? At least Jorley isn't working here today. That bitch is fucking Does that crazy. QR code She's work? so rude. What QR code? In the front of the register. I can't see the front of the register. I'm behind the register. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I How was are just saying uh, there's, 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 well, there's a mirror Do you that's have a reflecting third person, his back. Like view? No, 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 no. There's like a mirror that's like reflecting back. Where's so the like, mirror? We're in the middle of a McDonald's. It. Yeah, it's well, okay, maybe that's. All right, we got to get out of here. Chat's getting too excited. They think they're gonna get free oh, okay, nuggets. Okay, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, chat, no. You're not getting nuggets today. You already had food. And we're back to this. And boom. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. I think I went to the wrong dimension. Uh-oh. Oh, this is awkward. Uh-oh. Wait, this uh, is where hey. the other guy lives. Who's the other guy? Uh, he's like, he looks like me, but better. Oh. Come with me. Hang on, hang on. Wait. There we go. Uh, Joel, All I'm right. not, I'm not. I'm not feeling so good. What do you mean? It's Are you just good? like, yeah. Come back. I, I, I just wanted to go back to the the other room. Oh, I mean, we can if you want. I just. All I right, just fine, realized fine. that here, if I here. do the thing, it doesn't do the thing. Do you not want to go? No, we don't have to go. We okay. can stay here. We need to change into your 3D model in the middle of that. <laughs> No, I was going to turn the pixel filter on, but it only works on client side, so you would have to turn the pixel filter on. Oh, my God. Yeah, I but there's a lot of rooms to, to the mansion. Yeah, this is uh, this big, this is a pretty big place. That's kind of crazy. I mean, we it's a, it's a fucking big-ass mansion. It better be. 
Yeah, I will admit a lot of it's a little gross. I can't believe I was gonna get it for like such a deal, and then it turned out that no. Listen, it, it it's worth a lot if you come this way. Even the hallways look good. Uh oh, I'm Kevin. This one is a little delayed in time though, so it's gonna remake all the raids again. Oh, uh oh, it's delayed in time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where am I standing? Where am I standing? Oh, we're dancing. Oh, we're dancing. We're way, dancing. We're way. dancing. Okay, okay, I'm going. <laughs> crazy how that works huh yeah that, that is crazy there's just a lot okay, going go. on in this in this whole house yeah it's like it's huge and I have you like, thought you were gonna get it for 10k well i i did offer more money and then listen the only reason that happened is because the government doesn't think that i have rights so whenever they list this house they list it as abandoned and try to just get anyone to buy it yeah that's that's messed up not gonna lie that's what i've been saying i have rights i was a human not anymore, yeah, you but have the still, right to, I was. to hate people. I yeah. I mean, listen. If I'm paying my taxes, can I at least have rights? Like, how are you gonna tax right? me when I don't fucking have the right to own a house? Right. It's just fucked up. That's what makes know. my head. They've been trying to get this place for years, but I keep fighting back. Cause who's gonna buy it when they see me living in here? You don't normally see a six foot five living doll. Well, I was gonna buy it. Yeah, but you're fucked in the head. True. And there's not many people that are psychopaths, okay? What? Or at least ones that have Spare the have the thing. Okay, well, I mean, they're not ones that have the money to buy abandoned houses. And even oh. if they did have the money, they wouldn't buy the abandoned house. Yeah, fair enough. They'd probably use that money for other stupid things, like buying a social media website or some shit. You might be onto something. No, don't do that. Don't go down that route. I think I could do a better job than the musky husky, not gonna lie. <laughs> I actually think he's done a great job. Because of him, I barely use Twitter anymore. <laughs> so if anything, he's doing a great job in you fixing know what? everyone's actually, mental health. Actually, for mental health reasons, he's doing a great job. For mental health, he's done a great job at fixing my Twitter usage, because I'm barely on that shit anymore. Mm-hmm. Why'd you call him the musky husky? That's my affectionate nickname for him that he deserves. Girl DM buys Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want that thing. I don't think I'd want any forum website. Mm -mm. They're so ugly. I hate the way Reddit is formatted. It looks so gross. How does anyone see anything on there? I just scroll. I doom scroll. When so. I look at anything besides Twitter as a social media, I'm just like, I don't understand how people use this daily. Twitter is so easy to scroll through. Any other social media, it looks atrocious. Well, at least with mine, like, what? Because I, I'll, I'll like scroll through and sort stuff, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Oh well. I don't know. Most of my free time nowadays has been watching YouTube Shorts or TikToks, which is, I'll, I'll be it, just as bad for brain rot. But it's not my fault. I, I open it up and then four hours later, I realize my existence and I come back to fucking reality like a snap. Uh-huh. It's not I like my sending, fault. I like sending you TikToks. I, you've been recently actually been looking at my TikToks and I've been like, yeah, we got girl to get back into it. Yeah, I, I used bit. to send you a fuck ton and I don't think you use TikTok that much. And now you're actually seeing the TikToks I send you. I've been watching them and putting little reacts onto them yeah. so that you know that I watch them. I've been yeah. seeing yours too. I've been seeing all of them. It's always Good. happy too because I love when I get to send TikToks to people because normally the only people that I send TikToks to are... Um, Sai you and monarch because they actually use tiktok like all the time and they look at this shit so i don't get to send it to anyone else but now i have you that i can send tiktoks to and now it's like it's changed the game because now every cat tiktok i have i'm like i gotta send this to girl dm send it to dm yep. i'm gonna send this to dm now any weird like analog horror i'm like send it to girl dm i got yep, this yep. i'm sending it to all my friends now because i can't send the analog horror tiktoks to Sai you and monarch they're fucking they're scared of everything Really? They're like the most fearful people that I know. What the? They literally cannot play Lethal Company because they will get... Sayu gets scared in Lethal Company. What? He does? I yes. need to invite him to play Lethal Company. He uh, he gets scared by the silly, goofy game that says great asset. Great, great asset. Really? Yes. I need to... Like, Him and Monarch hey, get scared Joel, at video Joel, games. Joel, 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 that's Joel, me. I'm I have a great Joel. idea. What's I have up? a great idea. 
Let's let's do a, a lethal company collab and we'll have Monarch and Sayu and then we can go and so then we won't be scared and we'll just be laughing because they'll be scared. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me, I already do that, but a lethal company is a harsh mistress. You get killed easily. And then you have to watch from beyond the grave as they get fearful. No, I have an even better idea, Joel. Okay? You know what the idea is? <laughs> oh, what's the idea? I didn't we sneeze. Find... That was uh, biologically I can't sneeze. That's against my role play. True. We find two masks and okay. we both put the masks on and then they have to they, they we get to watch <laughs> them too. Chase them down. Yeah, <laughs> I have been wanting to do uh, Lethal Company because the VRM mod came out, so I could be uh, I could use my 3D oh, models yeah. in it. Yeah, I could with mine too. Uh, one thing though is you have to share the models with your friends. Ah, so I'm like, uh, uh, you'd have to be like really careful with who you're sharing them with. I, I can't just say, do this yeah. with anybody. <laughs> yeah. I already do this thing with uh, the only person that has my models are the people that made the models. And my friend Minky, because if, uh, every single April Fools, my April Fools joke that I do every year is I have mm -hmm. somebody else come on to voice my model. Ah. So my hey, friend Joel, Minky, she comes on and she pre basically pretends to be me. You want to see something funny? Yeah. What? Some, okay. Wait. Are you? Do you have somebody's yeah. model that you're gonna show? <laughs> yeah. Do you? Do you remember when we were playing Lethal Company? And you were really tired because you had a really busy schedule and you joined. Ye did I? Yes, yes, yes. What is this? What do you mean? What is this? What is this? Hang on, hang on. What are you doing? Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Whose model do you have? <laughs> it's not mine, is it? Do you have my own model? Who's my what the fuck is happening? No, hang on. Do I have to rejoin the room? No, you're still in the room. Okay. Just give it, it a little take bit. A second. It'll take a second. What the fuck does this mean? <laughs> you're worrying me here. I'm a little I'm scared for it of what to model load. is going to When does it appear. load? How long does it take to load? I, I don't know. I mean, I could change Maybe. models too to check. I don't know. It said, it said that I have to... Do what, you can try rejoining. Yeah, I'll try that. I'm scared. I'm scared. What does this mean? Hang on. What model oh, do you just... have that you're going to pop up? You'll see. You'll see. I don't even know whose model it would be. <laughs> Let me, Who would you see. even have? Join. I know it's not me. I never gave you any of my shit. Wait, is it the Barrett thing? There's no way. Wait, what is this? What is this? What do you... What the fuck? It's Sasuke. Why do you have Rin's model? Why That's the because fuck? I'm not a loser. I'm Sasuke. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ. I have, I have Rinika's model. <laughs> get him out of here. I can't look at him. Get him out of here. I can't look at him. <laughs> I'll swap back to villain. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna get fucking banned by Crunchyroll if you bring Sasuke on here. That's because you're a loser. Sasuke. Uchiha. Sasuke. Uchiha. Uh. God, looking at you kind of makes me want to get like a... Like some kind of more cooler outfit besides my uh -oh. dress. My model is lagging. No, you're fine. What do you mean? No, the you're just so is... stunned by me. No, Why you're is fine. It doing that? Hey, girl DM, what do you think ah! about murder? It's great. Oh, she turned stone face. She's not nodding her head anymore. <laughs> Connect. My attempt at defamation, it's not working. How dare you? What the fuck? Hey, you're normal How again. How dare you? Yeah, I'm, I'm normal now, yeah. I don't know your combo. I'm I didn't as do anything. normal as I can be for being a villainous cat girl. Well, one of the one of the models I do want to get soon is the Kintsugi mm -hmm. Knight, but that I mean, we already have the male model this year. The monster model, and then the um, and then the chat model. Male model. And then I have to do the fucking sundress because people wanted that. But I want to get the Kintsugi Knight. That was gonna be the that coolest. Would be great. I, I see mean, that it, one. it's the coolest one. It, uh, when I did the m outfit poll from like a year ago, it mm -hmm. like got the least amount of votes, which is bullshit to me. What the? Right? 
people, though. I think people only voted for the sun, uh, the sundress model because it had uh, legs out. Oh, yeah. Any any little bit of skin and people immediately vote for it. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, that's chat for you. But why male model? Why, what do but you mean why? But why? That's the thing. Why male models? Oh my god. You know, even your uh, models if are I human get too. A okay. Male model even and even somebody male gets models mad at me. can die in a freak gasoline fight accident. Okay, Joel. If I get a male model and people are still saying, "But why are you a man?" I'm going to lose my mind. But why male models? Oh my god! I can't win. Hey, Joel, can you turn left? Are you yeah. an ambi turner? Okay. I can turn either way and I can lean forward pretty far too. Because I know there's like leaning thing. There's like a leaning trend now for VTubers for some reason. Yeah. As if like having a third dimension wasn't like something that we already had or most people already had. Like I can lean pretty far forward. I think mine doesn't lean so huh? much. Like I can lean, like huh? I can nod down, but yeah. Why are you a man? You have such a sweet feminine voice. Yeah. What do you think? Do I have a sweet feminine voice, girl, DM? Uh, woo? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, 100%. my god. <laughs> uh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, like, Jesus Christ. Ooh, ooh. That's fucking disgusting. You know the OO in my name was a joke? Was it? Yeah. Joel? Joel. I my name on Twitter was Joel. And then I think five to six years ago, when Owo mm -hmm. was blasting off in popularity, right? When like mm -hmm. everyone was saying, oh my <laughs> now my tracking broke too. I wonder if is this actually a VTube studio thing or is this just my phone being bad? Chippy chippy choppa choppa dooby dooby da. Chippy choppa choppa choopy dooby ruby now doo. You, now you look like you do look like a super haunted doll right now. Give it a second. This has been happening lately, and I think I just need to buy a new phone. Either that or um, VTube Studio needs an update. Or you could probably try uh ah! Sorry, the my soul plug. came back. My uh, oh, it, okay. it was having a little bit of trouble. So uh <laughs> fuck, what was I saying? I was gonna say something. What was happening beforehand? I got fucking flashbanged by my model getting frozen. Now I can't remember what I was saying. What the fuck? I can't remember. Cheapy, cheapy, choppa, choppa. No, don't say that. You're gonna make me lose my mind. Oh, whoa. Cheapy, so cheapy. my uh, five to six years ago, oh, whoa, started getting really popular and people would say, oh, and who all the fucking time. Uh, mm -hmm. So I put it as my name. I put Joel as a joke. And as a joke? I shit you not. I think I forgot about it, and then I just never noticed it. And I, I completely forgot the reason my name was Joel. And I had it for years, and since then I've never changed it. Cause That's as you, amazing. You can already see that I barely change anything about my Twitter bio, because yeah. I never change my, my banner, I never change my profile picture. And yeah. I never change any of my names or anything, or my bio, like anything. Jo whoa, 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 so whoa, I completely whoa, whoa. forgot that my name was Joel on it for like, five years and i think eventually at some point i just accepted that i had that as my name and i completely forgot that i did it as a joke and meant to turn it back to normal so now people just call me joel and now everyone just says joel every time they want to say hi to me i get people coming in and being like is his name pronounced joel or is it joel like normal like is that i, I don't want to be rude is that a cultural thing you sound like you're saying my name into a fan yeah. <laughs> I, it, it was never supposed to be that. I was, it was never supposed to be Joel. I just completely fucking forgot about it and I left it there. Some people she call me PM core. too. Some people are allowed to say that. Like, it doesn't bother me. People can call me Joel, Joel, PM, porcelain, whatever. PMS. PMS. <laughs> Yo, it's PM and DM, my favorite streamers. Yeah. Oh my God. There you go. The the PM DM PM collab. And DM, PM DM collab. That's what you should Yo, call what's up? From now on. PM here with DM. I'm PM. And she's DM. And we're and here today. Together we're PM, PM DM. And DM. <laughs> <laughs> PM DM radio hosts. Hey! 
Hey, welcome to the PM and DM TV show. You're watching 105.3 Doll Radio. What was the number again? 105.3. 105.3 Doll Radio. <laughs> I've been sending you those on TikToks. If we're going back to the TikTok conversation. Yeah. That, so there is a guy on TikTok chat that purely only makes radio stations about fancy creatures. Like you're watching 101.6 Elf Radio, where we play the best of tunes. Waking up to ash and dust. And it's just all radioactive. <laughs> like the all of them, it's like incredibly racist towards other like r fancy races, but all of them play the same song as if they're any better than each other. Right. It's so good. Welcome to Gnome Radio, ten times better than Elf Radio, and now our next song. Waking up, cash and dust. I want my brown ass with my wrist. I'm breathing in the chemicals. And they all play radioactive. I would love to host a radio show. Uh, but the, we only play the same song, but we act as if we play different songs all the time. When anyone calls in to play, to like, and they ask us to play a song, we're like, yeah, sure, I can play that for you. Radioactive plays immediately. It's the only song they have, but they pretend like it isn't. And now That's we're going to be playing your favorite number, Radioactive. Hit it. Bam, bam. Hi, uh, is this PM and DM Radio? I would really like if you guys could play my favorite song. Um, it's it's been in the family for years, and I played it at my mom's funeral. And I would just I would really appreciate if you guys could play it. It's her anniversary. Uh, can you play um, Bradio Golden Liar? And uh, yeah, yeah, sure, we can totally do that. I, I'm happy that you respect us enough to play your wishes. Uh, you know what, DM? Can you hit that song? Blah, blah, it. Wake it up! <laughs> Action dust. dust. Just wipe my brown ass. It's <laughs> only radioactive the entire time. That reminds me. So Joel, there was a period of time where one of our radio stations that we could get was because I was for a while. I was like, I'm gonna listen to the radio. I'm not gonna yeah, stream stuff. Yeah. I wanna listen to the radio. And they swapped over from having like a regular host to a virtual one. Mm-hmm and it played the song Candyman for a week straight. The Candyman can can? Yes. What the fuck? A week straight. That was the only thing that that station played. This is why AI needs to be put down like the dog that they are. It was just the Candyman can. Ugh. Candyman. You know what? Oh, to be Candyman. fair. And just for somebody a week is straight. listening to that and radio. That was my favorite radio station. See, and then you're they were swapping it over. No, no, they were swapping it over to to like a virtual like broadcast system or whatever, and it took longer than they expected. Because they were only supposed to have that happen for like one day, apparently. And then it went for an entire week. Well, here's the thing. Music people already do that. They'll listen to one song for an entire week until they get sick of it. I do the same shit. I've been oh, listening to fucking too. bang bang for the last like two weeks and I still listen to it. I'm losing it. I can't. Wait, which bang bang? Oh, uh. The Mashal opening? No. Oh, okay, because I've been listening to one that's a different one. Uh. How do I pronounce his name? Kanon? Bang Bang featuring Adam Levine? Oh, okay. The one I've that been I've been listening to, listening five to is Bling Bang Bang Bon. Danny Mays, Don't Mind Dance, Notorious Fool's Table, Kanon's Bang Bang featuring Adam Levine, uh, mm -hmm. Amiri's One Thing. Stella Jang's villain and mm -hmm. Kafune Tekkit. Okay, and then I've had Bling dancing. Bang. I've had Bling Bang Bang Bon by Creepy Nuts, The Milk Carton by Madeline May, Sloppy Seconds by Watsky, <laughs> Baggage by Rare Americans, and I miss having sex, but at least I don't want to die anymore by Waterworks. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you know what? I, I love some of these names. There's a band that I listen to occasionally, and they have the stupidest fucking band name in the world, and it makes me very happy. It's, uh, where is it? 
Where is it? See, I don't just know in case how, people but they in your found chat me. think I'm joking, can I post the link go in ahead, the chat ahead, for the ahead. last one? In case people think I'm joking, that is the name of the last song. That is actually the chorus for the song. Chat. All right. There is a band that I know called I Don't Know How, but they found me, and all of their videos, like you can't see what the song is because the title of the band takes up all of the fucking title screen. Also, another thing people should look up is Nee. N E E. I, the, the the name is in Jap the song is in Japanese, but it's a fucking great oh, song. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The art Isn't style that the for that is fucking fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't uh oh gosh, what was that Metroidvania game with the the Ghost Knights? Ender Lilies is uh, by Millie. Ender Lilies, Millie, yeah, Millie is also does Millie's really good, good music. I've been trying to branch out to music that I just never have heard before. So like, I'll go on YouTube and then just click on random things that look like they have nice uh, thumbnails. And I'll be, I'll just like listen to that for a while. I'll send you random stuff. I have an eclectic taste in music. I've been trying to listen to music more. I, I only listen to music like now, whenever I wake up in the morning before a stream, because it gets me ready for stream. Mm -hmm. Also, Kowloon, I remember when you used to not listen song. to music at all. I still don't. I'm, I wouldn't consider myself a music listener. Yeah, I usually like if I'm off stream, like if I'm playing IDV off stream, or if I'm like playing TFT or even League. Which you love I will almost IDV. always have music. I love IDV. It's so cool, dude. They're gonna have a little nightmares collab. That's so cute. I yeah. think that game is one of the best aesthetics, but I don't like uh, that style of gameplay of Dead yeah, by Daylight fair. esque. Yeah, that's fair. not a fan. They have a whole bunch of other. They have Mar they have a uh, Mario Kart mode. What? What the fuck yeah. do you mean they have Mario Kart mode? What you part of that go... game screams let's have Mario Kart as a game mode? You 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 run through the park and they have like things that you can you have like what the items fuck? that you can get to slow people down and you can drop like ink on the floor so they can't run through what it. What country is that company based in? China. They have the craziest fucking games. <laughs> <laughs> they always also, are so unafraid of just making random shit in their games and they're like yeah let's just do this it's fun there's also another one a different game mode that they have that's called tarot where you have five players per team and you have one person that is like your king that you have to protect and then the hunter on your team is trying to get the king on the enemy team and then you have two knights that like are VIP. trying to protect the king yeah okay i can get that yeah yeah. I mean, the game looks fun just because I like the art style. I mean, I'll play any game that has an art style that I enjoy. <laughs> I would say you are really dedicated to that game because I see you playing it every week, I think, with like Aqua. Yeah, and yeah, it's that's, insane. Our, that's our team. You guys always go for it. I, I've never yeah, seen it's... people more dedicated to one singular game with the same group of people than you guys. Yeah, it's because it's game day. You are so literally we all play more together. dedicated than D&D &D players. You guys are always playing that. Yeah, it's every Monday on Aqua's stream, we play IDV. That's just how it, it's been. We all just hang out and we chat and we play rank. I can't even get people for D&D, &D, and you, you guys are able to do that all the time. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah, because uh, it's well, our window. I do want to go back to songs, though, because I want to promote you and you're like you getting into singing a lot more. Yeah, and yeah, I just did Bad Apple. You did, that you just did. just released, yeah. Which is really fucking cool. And Thank it's you. been nice seeing you be able to do this because you also get to show off, you know, your Japanese, like I was saying earlier, which is pretty <laughs> yeah. fucking cool. Uh, do you like Vocaloid, like for real? Yes. So, like, I like Vocaloid. I hate Vocaloids. So I do not like when a vocal. I like people doing covers of Vocaloid songs because I do not enjoy the like Vocaloids. Yes. So I don't like it when somebody a Vocaloid is singing. But the songs are so good, so I love hearing covers of the Vocaloid songs. There Speaking of a wonderful I... singer as well, Aries, thank you for the raid. Hello. That's my son, who's an amazing singer as well. Hello, hello. I'm I'm a relatively new to the singing stuff. Well, you're doing a really I... good job with it. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I'm I'm not. I, every time that there's, I, which helps a bit when I get people that are being like a bit rude about stuff oh, and dude, i'm just like music lovers are the fucking <laughs> stupidest bitchiest people sorry going on a right here music lovers 30, are no, no, the Joel, stupidest Joel, 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 motherfuckers Joel, Joel less what? than 30 minutes after the cover went up like the window of time between my cover going and me going live this morning there was a person that comments sorry but i like x's cover of this better i'm t i'm telling you Music people are the snobbiest, bitchiest people in the world. And I think what it is, is like every fan, every community is like that, right? 
every community yeah. has snobby motherfuckers that are super that don't understand the subjective taste in like art music is so like widespread because everyone listens to the music right that yep. it brings out the worst fucking human beings in the world because it's just so ugly music people that don't understand what subjective taste is is fucking insane because you talk to somebody about what music that you like and they're like oh your music taste is shit bro it is subjective like art it's insane i can like this food but you don't like this food how is that normal to you but as soon as i don't like a song that you like it's suddenly a fucking offensive thing music people are the <laughs> bitchiest people See, the i would rather music listen to an anime fight than listen to music people talk about music if somebody insists to me that I listen to something while I am on stream, that is the only time that I'll give like my full opinion on how it is, how I think of it, which most of the time doesn't work out because I'm so picky it's in what I like to listen to and I cannot explain why I like something or I don't. So if they're like, no, you oh, need to I listen to this right shit. now, you'll like it. And I'll be like, bet. Like my music taste is weird <laughs> as fuck. You can already tell based on the music that I do in my openings because I have, I have what six soundtracks now that I paid for to like yeah. you know use for every because every model I have I get a new soundtrack. Mm -hmm. All of them are spooky and funky. Everything mm -hmm. I have is spook funk, which is not a fucking genre. It is based off of Alex Mukala making Bloodborne funky. That is I just made. I was like I'm gonna run with this and this is my new genre of music for all my fucking soundtracks. Yep. It's and so if that's how dumb. it goes, it goes. It goes. Like there is no way you can be like you can hate on somebody doing music. So like even right, somebody will make like their first cover ever, right? And they'll be like, mm -hmm. "Yeah, I fucking I love music, man. Let's fucking go." And then immediately they'll get shit on. It's their first cover. You stupid bitch. How do yep. you think musicians get started? Do you want them to fucking put it in a room? They're a content creator. They're going to put it out there. What you're doing is not helping anybody. And then they'll, they'll like the people like to use the um what what's the fucking argument people use when they're try when they get pushback for being a dickhead? I'm um, critiquing them. Oh, I'm just giving criticism. I'm just giving critique. You don't I'm just understand giving critique. where the criticism like, you is. You should listen. You should listen to what other people say. And you have no validation for criticism. I don't care if you can hear something without, without any uh, without any background on on what your expertise is. Just because is you have ears doesn't mean you can give criticism. It's the same yep. thing with eyes. Just because you have eyes doesn't mean you know how to critique art. Yep. You yep. can say it feels off, or you can say you don't like it. That's a fucking subjective opinion, and if you, that, that's not a criticism in the first place, so keep it to your fucking self. Yep. People are yep. stupid. Thank you for the raids, yep. Demon Lord, uh, Dino, and Alligator. Big love, guys. We're fucking all the raids today. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if you want something to criticize, I'll sing for you. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear crit You want something to fucking make fun of here? You Watch me do karaoke. You want something to make fun of here? I've got something Listen for you Listen to right me here. do karaoke, homie. I got you. Tell oh, tell Joel about the salmon guy. Okay. Salmon. So I had post, I, I had a, one of my... Oh, the cooking did, thing? Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, I had done with HelloFresh had sponsored me to make one of their like meals on yep. like stream and then have it be made into a YouTube video. And HelloFresh, if you don't know, I'm not going to do the whole spiel because I'm, I'm not being paid anymore. Um, but it's a box that comes with ingredients and it also comes with the recipe card it's so that you prep. don't have to go out shopping. Yeah, it's meal prep. So I decided to make the salmon. And I was following the instructions on the card as it would be if I was like, I wasn't taking the ingredients and being like, oh, the Hello Fresh box says to do this. I'm going to do this opposite thing instead, right? So I did that and post the YouTube video. And this guy, first of all, is like, well, first of all, he made a wall of text. I saw the comment on the YouTube video. It was yeah, ridiculous. Giving, it was so ridiculous. Like he suggested I get a different stove. He said that you shouldn't season the side of the salmon that has skin because you're not going to eat the skin. People eat the skin of fish. I eat the skin. I think it's disgusting, but people eat it. It's a normal thing. It's normal. Salmon guy. Yeah. And then when I commented back, just being like, he was like, oh, I uh, like don't do this don't do this and I think I commented back like facetiously being like yeah don't worry next time I'm just gonna slide the salmon all over my cooking utensils and everything when it's raw 
And he was, he took offense to that. How dare I? Someone that, based off of this video he saw, had very little to no experience in cooking based off of my response and everything. I was just like, ah, you're new here and an idiot. <laughs> The, we, human was, beings were not meant to so have this mad. much fucking access to the internet. We he should not have so this much mad. access he to other humans. He could not understand how he was in the wrong at all. And he got dogpiled. And normally, I'm like, I do not condone dogpiling normally. In this situation, if he would have just shut up, he would have been fine. You know the best thing <laughs> at that point? You just, one comment reply, Bro is yapping! Yapping. So many of us warned him before that too. Oh yeah, people in the community were like, yeah, you should chill. She knows how to cook, like blah, blah, blah. This was for this, blah, blah, blah. And then he just kept going. He just kept going. I was like, man. What is he yapping about? He is essaying. I am not reading all that. <laughs> it's, I'm it's, glad for it's you. Ridiculous. I'm sorry that happened. It's, it's silly. A, a lot yep. of comments as a content creator is silly. It's just, people, people are dumb sometimes. We're not meant to have this much access to see how many people have opinions. Like, it's like, I don't care about your fucking opinions. I'm living my own life. Yep. It's silly. But yeah, we've made it to three hours. Thanks for being here, girl DM. Thank Look at you. you. Thank Look at you. you. Look at me. Thanks Look for at being me. here. And Dude, then I'm going to be so gone long. halfway through next week. What are you doing? I'm going away for two weeks. Oh my god. She has to run from the fucking Canadian government again. It's it's only like temporary until like, told it's you, like a, they gotta you lose just, the trail. If you just learned how to get rid of the fucking bodies yourself, you wouldn't have uh, to well, do this. You just leave them there like they're fucking decaying corpse. You're I supposed have to put them away. Important to do. I have important things. If you have enough time to kill a man, you have enough time to hide the body. No, I don't. I have to play video. If games. you have enough time to kill a man. You have enough time to hide the body! The, the louder you say it, the less I understand. I am trying to make it get through your fucking thick skull. My skull is very thin and paper-like, thank you very much. That is not true. I know that's not, <laughs> not fucking true. Because I can, wait, I come here. <laughs> Literally, come here. I can prove to you that your skull is not fucking thin, because if I do this... That is not... A normal sound that a skull makes. Okay, you might have a point. But still, that doesn't mean you're right or I, true. Having a point literally is the <laughs> definition of meaning that I am right or am true. Mm, I don't think so. That is I why your, I have a point. <laughs> I reject your reality and substitute my own. That is not how that works. La, 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 la. I can't. She's like in a whimsical la, la, land la, by la, herself. La, 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 I think this is what la, led la, to the psychopathy la, chat. La, 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 you see that lore la, video? There's la, no la, helping her. La, 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 She's la, gone. La, 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 you la, did this, YouTube comments. La, 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 this is la, your la, fault, la, Salmon la, Guy. La, 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 She's la, literally la, a murderer la, and a psychopath la, la, because of you guys with the tech comments and the la, Salmon la, comment. But where you did to her? She used to be put together. I used to be put together. I am so poorly constructed now. <sighs> well, anyways, thanks for being here, <laughs> anyways, girl. It was nice to get to thanks. hang out again. It's been a while. I'll see you. Yeah, it has been a while. It's I been mean, so busy with stuff. The end of the year last year was just like crazy. Year. Yeah, it's been, it's been half a minute. Oh, my God. I mean, because, right, like, the only time I bring people on for collabs, most of the time, is for, like, porcelain parlors. And I've been trying yeah. to bring on, like new people and that and only recently i've been doing like returning guests uh just because i feel like i'm an asshole if i like have a bunch of friends and i don't invite them on and it's like been a year and i don't know and then i and then i bring returning people on and other people are like well i mean i'm new you could bring me on for something fresh but it's just nice to be able to bring people on and have a good time together so it's nice mm -hmm. to have you here and actually get to talk again it's nice to chat with you i know you're like you're never you're never so excited in like dms and stuff i was yeah. like wait no i'm always please please realize that when i'm responding to stuff like if i'm responding i'm chat. like yippee we were talking I'm about this on it. we were talking about this i was inviting girl dm to the cheese thing with me and monarch and i have never seen girl dm respond back with so much gusto and excitement it was all caps 
exclamation points at the end. I, I've never seen her more excited to collab except when it was about cheese. And I told her this and she was like, no, no, no. I'm always excited to collab with you. I just really like cheese. And yeah, she said, and like from now on, just assume that I'm excited even if I type really like lackadaisically. Yeah, because it's, it's like if I'm if I'm, I'm always excited if I get invited for things, I'm just like, yay, I get to go outside. <laughs> you just don't type it out. It, it's, it's to be assumed. I just assumed. don't type it out because then, well, because if, if I do emoji spam, then I feel like self-conscious if I'm doing like a whole bunch of, because, okay, the other thing is most of the time, I'm my, excited, to hang out. my excitement emoji spam also is usually crying cats. So the more upset the cat is, the happier <laughs> I am to be there. Hey, so girl, if it's like, Liam, do you want to hang out? Crying cat emoji? Yeah. Like, okay, no, if you sent here, I'm going to send this to you right now, okay? If you get this when you invite me, that is me being like, oh my god, I am so hyped for this. This is great. <laughs> it's the crying cat with the paw up. It's the, yeah, we have, I have an emote of that. Chad, it's the sad cat of me that we have is our emote. It's that one. Yeah, <laughs> it's that, it's one, that yeah. one. It's it's that one. It's, that's that's my I'm so excited and happy. That's that is the that is my happy that's a, such excitement a, that's such emote. That's a strange way of showing excitement. <laughs> it's, no, it's just here. This is let me let me explain. This is how it is. Anytime that I'm getting in it's like you want me to play with you? <laughs> I'm, I, I, yes, yeah. I want to play games. I want to. I want to. I want to be on the thing. That's that's literally what it is. That is me every single time. I, I'm sorry. I, I express myself in crying cats. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I, I was really happy when you said that because I was like, oh wait, that's so nice. It's validation that my friends like me. I mean, obviously, yeah. my friends like me if they fucking come to see me at a convention. Like you know. Uh, but it, it's still, it's like, it, it, like it's nice to, it's nice to have, it's nice to have, and I was happy that you were really excited. And I'm excited that in February yeah. we're gonna do our cheese, uh, cheese stream yeah. review. Jeans. We're gonna I'm very talk excited for more. Teams. If you enjoyed the Manhua section of this, me, we're gonna bring. Oh, there's Monarch gonna be a in, lot more. And we're gonna talk a lot more about webtoons that we like. Mm hmm There's gonna be a lot more. I have I will so say, though, many. I've fallen off the villainous genre a little bit, so like I gotta get back into that before that happens. <laughs> I gotta get Next back month, into it. Joel just feel like I don't know what that is. I like I I'm I'm into dungeon meshy I've been, now. I've been into a lot of cultivation manga lately. <laughs> Not the cultivation. I know, I know, I know. The fucking grandmaster, true grandmaster shit, uh, enlightened one. I'm uh, I'm working on it. Okay, I'm uh, working on he's, it. He's got the he's working on his golden soul from his I'm, cultivation. I, no, I'll get back into the fucking Korean manhwa soon. You just I've been up seen and down. Joel's next model update, the male one. He's gonna be able to fly on a sword. <laughs> <laughs> Grandmaster Sword Key? Oh my! Or Sword Chi? Holy <laughs> shit! He's going crazy. I can't, believe, I can't believe. Who is your master for you to be able to to? The, your, this is too soon in your cultivation for you to be able to wield this power, <laughs> Joel. <laughs> I took the fucking thousand year uh, Dragon Ball. <laughs> And oh I, my god, I can't believe that he's consumed the 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 dragon heart potion under the he's he's cultivated the dragon cultivated. heart potion under the the 2 million year lotus. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I'll go back to my villainous mama soon. Oh boy. But yeah, All thank right. you girl Dean yes. for being on. I'll let you go. You can go be free. I'll see you later. Go commit a crime. Yeah, big love. I'm going to commit murder. Big love. Bye-bye. Thanks for having me. Thanks yeah. everyone for watching. Do you know the way out? Because you came mm -hmm. here, you like walked here or something, right? Elevator. That's not, there's, you're just like, you're literally limboing on the floor. Shh, they can't You are see now, it. Squat, you are literally crouch walking like you're they a fucking can't. Metal Gear Solid could character. Could you not? I can see you. Could you not narrate? I can could literally you not see narrate? you. Could you're you like not crouched narrate? trying to waddle away because nobody knows could how to actually not, walk while crouching. Can you not narrate me leaving? This looks really embarrassing, girl DM. This is like okay, really. Bye. You can stand up now. You're off the screen. Oh, thank God. Okay. God, dude, your legs look like they fucking work? really it's hurt. It's like, I can't open it with my claw. Can you open the door? Are you kidding me? No. How do you not know? Just get rid of the fucking armored claw. It's one of the doorknobs that you have to I get rotate. That it's if you cool, got the but normal like, how the fuck handle you type go one, you could open the door. Just open it. What about your other it. hand? It's on my hip. You... She's so committed to slaying. All right, go, go, slaying. get out of here. Okay, bye. Go slay. Go, bye go bye. serve. Go serve. I'm, I'm gonna go slay people. Goodbye, murder. No, don't <laughs> actually slay. I'm not. Okay. I'm not hiding the bodies. I'm not doing it. She's not paying me enough to hide the bodies. She's not paying me at all. 
I'm just doing it so she hopefully doesn't go to fucking jail when I'm not looking. <sighs> I'm telling you, chat, we really need to figure out who's the VTuber form of HR. We need human resources at some point. I can't keep getting harassed by these VTubers. Eventually, I'm going to need human resources to help us out. Oh, boy. Anyways, that was Girl DM. Please go check out Girl DM as always. Lovely streamer, as you can tell from the amount of fucking cracked jokes they were going through. She's really funny. And she does a lot of family friendly as well streams that you can do. Literally, like you can watch Girl DM with your kids and it's totally fine. Unlike what unlike me. Please do not. This is an 18 plus stream. But other than that, thank you for watching. Uh, I think that's about it for the stream. Chad, say bye to YouTube. YouTube, thank you for watching this. If this turns into a date video in the future, or if you're watching the YouTube VOD, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Everyone else with me in Twitch chat, we are either going to hop on over to a party animal collab, or I will just raid into them because it is my friend's birthday today. And uh, I feel like I need to go get a snack. So we can probably end it here for you guys. I mean, I could stream it, but like, I'm kinda, I'm kinda, you know, I'm a little, I'm a little sleepy because next week you guys are getting five streams next week. If you guys didn't know next week, you are getting five streams. So you're getting a stream. Monday is the next stream you're gonna see from me. Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be playing Bokuda with Giga. Wednesday, we're going to be playing Slay the Princess. Thursday, you're getting an extra stream. We are doing the Chaos Crew collab with Monarch, Sayu, and Liz. We're going to be playing Dead by Daylight, unfortunately. Uh, Friday, you're getting the full body stream. Or no, sorry. Friday, we're finishing off Liza P, finally. And then Saturday, we have Date Night with Meriwethery. So you're getting five streams next week. Sorry, Porcelain Parlor. God damn it. So I'm going to call it here so I can go get some food and join in on the collab that I was invited to. But just remember, I really love you guys. And thank you for being here. You could have watched anyone, but you chose to watch me. And that means a lot to me. So thanks for being here, chat. Thanks for existing. And thanks for joining me. And thank you, Girl DM, for being here. Girl DM genuinely is a wonderful friend. And I'm so happy that I have her. She's like so fucking cool, dude. She's so cool. I, and I just, I've, I've known her for like three or four years now. She's a great homie. Other than that, Thank you for watching the stream. If you want to see me or else, I, have a, uh, I stream four days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, as well as I have a bunch of different areas that you can find me. I have a TikTok, Twitter, three YouTube channels, Porcelain Made, Porcelain Made VODs, and Porcelain Made Clips, as well as I have a Discord server that's 18+, plus, which if you're a sub, you can get perks on it called Daily Doll, where I do daily private streams on Discord, as well as there's a Minecraft server that we have full of mods called Doll SMP. And we do a lot of cool events like study hall, movie night, game night, stuff like that. Other than that, though, you can also check me out and merch at porcelainmade.store. Porcelainmade.store. You can buy a body pillow of me, ass mouse pad, titty mouse pad, charms, posters, stickers. As well as if you like the price of free, you can go get my voice pack, which has 45 different voice lines that you can use for your own streams or for your phone or for your alarms or whatever. And you can buy my plushie at exclamation one plushie. As well as if you use code GAMERAID, you get 10% off any order at GamerSubs and PC parts at Ironside. Other than that, though, thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed the stream. And uh, I'll see you guys on Monday for the Bokura collab with Giga. It's been a while since we had Giga on the stream, so you can go enjoy that. But that's about it. I got nothing else to give to you guys. Thanks for being here. Hope you had a good time. And uh, make sure to go check out Girl DM. And go support Girl DM's covers. She is just now getting into singing, so be nice, because she's been doing a fucking fantastic job for somebody's first time. It's been genuinely really fucking good. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it, isn't it? I don't got anything else to say. Before I keep yapping, just know that I appreciate y'all, and I'm going to go play Party Animals with the birthday boy, Hootie Who. So we're going to go and raid him. Uh, if he's online and I'll send you guys over and we're gonna go hang out for a little bit But if I don't see you, I will see you guys on Monday and if I don't see you on Monday, I'll see you on Wednesday I love you guys a lot. Thanks for being here The next full body stream with my full body model chat is either going to be uh, Next week on Wednesday or next week on or, Sorry, it might be Monday Monday. I might have the full body or something like that. We'll see how it goes
I'm gonna fuck off now. I got nothing else to talk about. Bye, Chad. Bye. Thanks for being here. I can tell my voice is kind of dying if I'm being real with you. I don't know if you guys heard it throughout the entire stream today. My voice was like kind of breaking down. It was being a little icky. So, you know, the more rest, the better. Where the fuck is Hootie? Is he not streaming yet? He He's clearly streaming. What the fuck? Why, do I not follow Hootie Who? Am I crazy? I swear to God, I know I do. I could have sworn I did. I just don't see him on my follow list. Oh, no, there he is. I'm a moron. I am following him. Oh, well. Have a good rest of the night, everybody. And thanks again, Girl DM, for being a cool homie. And thank you, Chad, for being supportive. Have a good rest of the night. Big love. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Sorry, I don't know how to end streams, man. I talked about this yesterday. I have shitty in outros. Intros, perfect. Outros, they like, I just keep yapping. It goes on for like 10 minutes because I don't know how to fucking cut the stream off. I'm just really bad at it, dude. I don't know what to fucking say. It's like, I, the, the most of the time when I leave in real life, when I'm hanging out with somebody, which is very rare, I'll be like, bye, and that's it. But I feel like I have to actually shill stuff with you guys. I gotta be like, here's when I stream next. Here's all the other shit. Somebody needs to put a timer on. Like, Joel, you have three minutes to end the stream. Start. If you go longer than three minutes, we're cutting you off. I'm bad. I'm bad at this shit. Whatever. I love you guys. Have a good night. See you guys on Monday. Bye, everyone.